want the silence. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another installment of The Bathhouse. We got with us today, Che Arena. Hey, how's it going, guys? C- Canadian. We got a lot of Canadians yes. here. How does it feel, Derek? Derek Drescher, who you've been on every one so far. I've been on every one so far. I like this one uh, because uh, there's no Asians on it. So oh, I'm, I'm happy shout out to it. Andre Kim yeah. or fuck you, Andre Kim. I mean, I, on... I like Andre, but the Asian they had here before him was better. I like the other Asian. Who was that? Uh, Ronnie Wilford, Chang? Wilford Padu- Padula. Oh. He's way better. Mm, gotcha. And then we got J.J. Lieberman. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? How's it going, J.J.? Your fans will know who I am. J.J. Yeah. Oh, fans know J.J. Your fans, his fans like me, but not, new f- people won't know who the fuck I am. Uh, well, they'll learn They'll, they'll know learn soon. who you are. They'll know who, who so you guys... Um, so, okay, one of the rules of the bathhouse. The bathhouse is a live call-in show. Phone number, 646 646- uh, oh, I almost just gave out my personal number. 646 Because I also, I've literally, I've said it before, but I've like gone to tweet like, hey, episode of The Bathhouse. And then I tweet my personal number. And, and you're like, whoops, because oh, they're fuck. similar. Yo. Um, so the rules of The Bathhouse for Derek knows. But so when people call, yes, anybody can hang up. On the person at any time. Right. Oh, we can just all, yeah. all of there's us. There's a gong. It's the gong, right? Yeah, so yeah. if you say I've I'm not not into it, uh, we had many prank callers. Okay, that's great. On though. the last episode. But why? Why? Are these people have nothing better to do than prank call? Or you're 12 years old, you fucking incels? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> JJ's well, coming in hot. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them might be incels, you know. They um. Take yeah. Incels a little a little term that gets a little overused. But anyways, welcome everybody in the chat. Great restart says if you need to know JJ is the best, but also a worthless human being. <laughs> yeah, well, you're, why don't you call so I can hang up on your fucking worthless call? I love that this guy's called the Great Restart. He's fucking, he's about it. I fucking, <laughs> I fucking love JJ, man. Jeez. We're gonna podcast this Sunday, Saturday. Yeah. The two of you are podcasting. Yeah, yeah it's my first. I, I'm throwing my career right out the he window. He roped you I'm, into yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Th- no one's gonna see it. You're not throwing it away to nobody. <laughs> Dude, They'll throw it away. It. Yeah. I'll tell you, out of the 30 people who are going to see it, it's not going to be one in the industry. You get that call from me a couple years down the road. Yeah, yeah they'll, that's true. they'll bring up the clips when you really start to blow up. Like, that's what JJ they do, Lieberman. right? Yeah. It's oh, not even did. that. Is Well, I guess it's going on. Where's it going, JJ? On your YouTube channel? On YouTube, yeah. It goes yeah, YouTube. so it'll be like one of those things where JJ pops off and then you just get like, yeah. demo- like your channel just gets taken. But out. I've already been demonetized on everything else. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's there to lose, yeah, baby? Yeah. Yeah. Might as well just make content for the fucking 40 people L- who love me. Low stakes. Okay. You guys, um, you guys were both on the shows tonight? Yes. yes. How did yeah, it go? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was okay. I didn't have the oh, best. Oh, we got a call. Oh, all, right. all right. So JJ's talking shit and people call. Um, so again, anybody wants to hang up? You hang up. Hello. Thanks for calling the bathhouse. Who am I speaking with? Oh, what is up, Danny Polish Chuck? How it you doing, man? It is Tyler Harp. You spoke last time at the uh, bathhouse. And two Which words, one? The one in real life? Bathhouse. Ooh. Uh, no, you had the uh, brain tumor. We did not speak in real life. I was I was that guy. That Tyler one had guy. a brain tumor. Still? No. No, no, still. He had a removed. All in the clear. Mm. Oh, congrats. Congrats, yeah. Tyler. But you still use it to get thank pussy, you, right? You. Oh, absolutely. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> You're my kind of guy. Keep yeah. on going. You're not getting hung up on. <laughs> uh, so I uh, I wanted to call. You know, I, I tweeted at Daniel. What I tweeted you, at Daniel. What did you tweet to me? What, did, what have I done? I, I, I just simply I simply said that I was gonna bully you the same way I bullied Matt Edgar in the following me. Not happening. And so I cannot oh, be bullied. Oh. Yeah. Dude, oh, Matt man, Edgar and Danny Pollard are two this was completely my, different animals. Well he bullied Matt Edgar into following him five years ago. Oh this was my this was my Trump card. This is all I got. <laughs> Dang it. I yeah, was I'm, hoping I'm a Trump guy too. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, Trump card guy. I'm a Trump card guy too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I got brain cancer. I vote Trump. Uh, I want to know about this brain cancer shit. You got a Tell tumor? Him. I'm gonna take my sweater off. I'm roasting. You yeah. got a tumor removed? Did that like fuck up your boners? Did it make you smarter? Did it make you dumber? Do you, are you like a serial killer now? Like what? What changes happened in your brain? Yeah, thankfully, thankfully, no serial killer, not 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 doing any of that. Uh, unfortunately, it did get a little dumber. Did really? Get a little dumb. <laughs> it what went sad. Are you slower? Yeah. You don't remember things as easily, stuff like that. Yeah, I got, got a. Uh, I think, 
I think now it is a little better, uh, well, a lot better, because it's been, you know, uh, for you. But like, I can tell how long you're like talking. Eight years. Yeah, this has been like you're 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 punishing me with all the way you're fucking slow. <laughs> I'm listening to you talk, and you're punishing me right now. JJ, so do you think that's better. some sort of karma, maybe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Sorry, I'm no, not, I'm I not forgot. super Let's great not at funny, interviewing and sake. talking. It, it's not that amazing. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, Tyler, Tyler, it's all good. It's just busting your balls, stupid. Yeah, this is, this is what, honestly though. I will say that JJ, the experience that you are getting is like what it's actually like to hang out with him. The, yes. I'm the Punisher. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the like, Punisher. I'm a Punisher. But like, this is like when you were hanging out with Rich Voss, and the two of you were just like, "You're stupid." It's like you're a dummy. And it's like uh-huh. you're stupid, and they're like, "This is the best." Were you in Toronto that weekend no, when he no, was no. there? Oh yeah, it was a great. He came up to open in Toronto to do uh, to open to do his uh, a set. Any any. Uh, he walked up and to me to introduce himself, and I was like, "Hey, man, you don't mind if I do twenty something minutes in front of you?" And he's like, yeah, yeah. And then I walked off stage, and then he came up to me, and he's like, uh, "Tell me when you go up." <laughs> and we were just and going just back, back and, forth. and forth. I was, yeah, yeah, it's just a, it's a couple of old school guys. I, he doesn't even know who I am. I walked no. by him. I love how yeah, like, so, like, just a couple, couple of old school, school guys. Like, he was the host eight years yeah. at <laughs> Woodstock. Yeah. 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 literally was That's at so Woodstock. JJ goes, couple old guys. Guys like Couple us, guys. Huh? I, I, I kept on seeing him at Skank Fest, and I was going to go up to him. And I, this was the stock line I had, but I just never did it. I didn't want to pull the trigger. This is going to be sad. Because I said, I, so when he was leaving the uh, headline weekend, he's like, uh, just if you ever see me in New York with your with my friends, don't say anything. So I was going to come up to him in, in, in Vegas and say, hey, man. You told me never to say anything to you in New York, but it's Vegas. So it's like, yeah, so we're buddies now. This yeah, guy yeah. talks to me. He texts me. <laughs> Good. I Honestly, have that association. I would say, JJ, good idea not, not to yeah. say anything. Yeah, Rich like is the best. So he'll walk yeah. in here and be like, look at these nobodies. <laughs> <laughs> the nobody's a nobody in here. The no, he, nobody called, he called me and Gio were, were sitting. We were sitting with Karen one day, and he goes, Karen, what are you doing? You're sitting in between two bringers. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with he you? He knows how to hurt you. Yeah, uh-huh. dude. Right to oh, the, yeah, he's yeah. been been doing it for so long. He's been doing it 50 years. Well, else he yeah. needs to be a defensive. 50 years? No, 38. 30, 38, 38 years? 38 years he's wow. been doing Maybe 30, 39. 50, 50's not crazy when you hear 30. I thought he's like in yeah. his 50s. He's 60 something. Wow. Really? He looks good though. Yeah, he looks yeah, yeah. great. He takes great care of him. He's been sober for 40. Yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah. Is he shrinking though? The dude's a He's always been guy. a little guy. Yeah, yeah, Jewish yeah. guys, that tends to happen. They just you sh- you sh- You're true. not tall to begin with and then you start to you shrink. Start yes, that's happening to me right now. I'm tall. As your a, gut will start to pull you down. It yeah. will compress your yeah, spine. Yeah, you are yeah. tall Jew. You're not a lo- you're not a Jew looker. No, he looks look Jewish like in the face. No, this guy 100%. auditioned for the bear Jew. That's a, that guy's a big Jew. <laughs> Did you really audition for him? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> you would have been great in that I part. I auditioned for Django. <laughs> yeah. You know for real? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, oh uh, shit! I, I'm trying to get this goddamn. Cake. Do you need an app? You know what? No, it's fine. It's just uh, I, yeah, I, I auditioned. For, I auditioned underneath. for the Happy I'm Merchant. Idiot. Sorry, I keep bye, on lo- Tyler. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, <laughs> He's, he, 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 it wasn't me, about. Tyler. I don't know if people are tweeting at me where uh, Elon Musk is firing everybody right now. No, no. Oh. is he actually firing everyone? Yeah, the CEO and like remember the chick that went on. Um, the chick that went on Rogan. Oh no, yes, no. With the lawyer, uh, the, the lawyer, lawyer Jack's with, lawyer. Right. Yeah, with uh, Jack and uh, Tim Pool. She just got fired. He, Good. She just, was such an idiot. You know who he's gonna hire? Who? Need I say? Yeah. Johnny. Kanye. Oh. Think no, that's the thing. Kanye? That's the thing. Me and my buddy were talking about. It's like Kanye got banned from all the platforms. Trump's banned. Do we get Trump and Kanye back on, yeah, on Twitter? The same and, Alex then, Jones. and then they and like team up. They're like boys. Like it's a oh, Kanye yeah. fucking they Trump just, duo. Yeah. He's not yeah. bringing in the kitchen sink for it. dude. Your meme today of oh. that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. Uh, it's just the the, it literally cold. was him walking in and they just put the Stone Cold music. It was not. It was oh yeah, you know I did see that. <laughs> not super high level, but. I reshared him. Thanks, JJ. I appreciate it. Super you. high level. Um, to me. Uh, see, the Trump thing, though, I don't know if Trump will come back because Trump has his own thing. He has his own thing, but Trump loves to tweet. And Trump just being on the internet is just chaos. Like, we had fucking. Francis Ellis, everybody. Hey. Um, yeah, Trump, Trump loves to tweet. I don't know if he'll be back. I, I'm not. Uh, he'll. Because his. Truth Social. Have you ever been on Truth Social? No. It is the worst. Yeah, it stinks. One of the worst apps I have really ever used. Really? Uh, you, you're surprised? I, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I guess you're right. He it's does so bad. all his businesses First do off, fail. Retweets on there are called retruths. <laughs> so a just tweet a- is a truth, <laughs> and a retweet is a retruth. So just how already. many people are using it? How many downloads has it gotten? Over a million or no? 
Yeah, yeah, it's in the oh, millions yeah. for sure. I mean, Trump's on there. It's the only place you can hear from him. Damn, why is nobody reposting that shit? I want to. Because they, they can't. They can't get a. I, I'm sure it gets taken down every time. Yeah, if you put Trump shit anywhere. Yeah. So is he banned from Instagram? Oh yeah, he's yeah. banned from everything. The fucking Nelk Boys did an interview with him, and they it got six million views in like a few hours, and then got taken down. Which he he was the that was the first interview he did like a long form interview after the presidency. Really, it's fucking insane yeah. that the Nelk Boys locked that shit down. Uh, well, it's was he funny? Florida, Florida guys, right? Was he funny? No, they're Canadian. Yeah, oh, they're, oh, they're yeah, all right from now. Mississauga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was thinking of Fresh and Fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Those dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those uh, but um, yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe Trump will have his Twitter account back, and then he'll do the thing where he just screenshots his re- his re- his truths, and then and post then just them. post the screenshots on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. But he can't resist. There's no way he can like resist. No. Oh, we got a call. I'll There's see. no way I feel like he could resist staying off Twitter. But I'm sure he'll cost him a fortune. Hello, thanks for calling the bathhouse. Who Imagine if it's with? a guy with a brain tumor. He's like, hey, I just want to call. He forgot. <laughs> 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 Hello. <laughs> hey, so I I bullied Matt Edgar into. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Told yeah, you yeah, it what, was him. Oh, what, uh, what's good, no, King? Him. He got hung up on. Maybe we'll, we're having some issues. Once again, once again, two for two. What? No. Uh, I uh, know it was Dude. different. It was definitely a different number. No, but I'm saying I'm throwing fucking haymakers here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing Tyson, heavy lifting Tyson as an open micer. Yeah, JJ's <laughs> Tyson open micer. in his absolute prime. So you, you uh, we uh, these two clowns were in Vegas. Speaking of Rich Voss, because yeah. Rich Voss was kicking around. You were in Vegas too. I you know. were there too. I saw I you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I saw, I saw you, you eating some fucking s- chocolate bars in the green room. <laughs> oh, I saw ha- this is all Dude. I ate. Did Dude. you? Did you? Dude, get, I didn't eat any food that weekend. Did you get a massage? Dude, they had yes. a masseuse. What? They yo, have a masseuse? Yo, a shout out Skankfest. They fucking took yes. care of the people, man. Dude, Dude, they was, took care of us. Everyone's Dude. saying like the lineup was fucking good. Didn't Louis C.K. drop in? No, Tim no. Dillon was there. Oh, Chris Tim Rock. Dillon. Chris, Chris Rock. Rock came. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 no, no, no. Uh, no, no. Uh, Dana White thing, was there. Dana Whitney White? Whitney Cummings came. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah she yeah. let a guy touch her pussy. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man, I got to go yeah. next through, year. Through her <laughs> pants. <laughs> this is like, what? So yeah. they were doing like that small dick contest, and she really let him have it, and she's like, all right, you can rub my pussy. No. I, really? I, I had to judge Good some of that small dick contest. That's a cool chick. Some of these dicks were like the insanest thing you've ever seen. Really? Yo, dude, I meant to... Uh, okay, so we're you were there. Oh, okay. Like, I gotta see these oh, it's better be good. We're talking about dicks. So oh, good. This shit. What's that? Aaron said, call this shit. Aaron who? Bath house. Who is this? Bath house. What's up, buddy? Oh, bath, bath house. Say bath house one more time, you fucking retard. I dare you. I double dare <laughs> you, motherfucker. What can we say? I double dare you, too, motherfucker. Shut <laughs> the fuck up, you stupid son of a bitch. You'll be cracked in the okay, ass. This guy's head with a bag of fucking no, egg no, corn. No, no, no. I'll do it JJ. I'll fuck you in the ass. <laughs> That's how this is going to happen. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Good night. I'm JJ Lieberman. Egg corn. That's your favorite JJ Lieberman. That's my favorite JJ Lieberman. Oh, when I Stop. said that, I forgot. Yeah, he's that. trying to. He's closing, and some know, guy t- was talking, and he went, he went, hey, I'll shut fuck the, you. In he the- goes, shut the fuck up. He goes, be quiet, stupid. And the guy goes, no. He goes, I'll fuck your, I'll fuck, I'll fuck your, your ass. Mouth. No, I said, I'll fuck his mouth. <laughs> no, he said, I'll fuck your ass. No, I, I'll I know it. this verbatim. Very I watched it ten times. You're the only day. one who watched it. <laughs> <laughs> and JJ's going, and the guy's going, no, you won't. And JJ's going, yes, I will. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then he goes, thank you, everybody. I'm JJ Lieberman. <laughs> no, no, I, said that. I got the light. I got the light. And then, yeah, you told me. <laughs> no, you, said, you won't. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Oh, <laughs> person wants to keep calling back. Should oh, same guy. No, 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 no. That's stupid. No, 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 no. You want to, you want to be a little kid. Kid and play your games, or, or you know. Did you ever do prank calls, JJ? Was it? No, it's so actually. Stupid. You know what? Good question. We're talking about a bathhouse. You've probably been to more bathhouses. Yeah, I've been to many bathhouses. Oh, yeah. I used to sleep in one. In uh, how do you sleep? Have you seen Dahmer? No, I slept in. Have you bath- watched the Dahmer show? I slept show? at Spa Access at uh, seventy-seven Carlton Street in Toronto, Ontario, by the Pim- Primrose Hotel. What do you mean you slept there? Have you I ever w- been to a dark room? Have you heard of these things? I used so- to get my ass eaten through the glory holes. Jeez, I would Jesus. love that. Yeah, through when a glory I was hole. when I was stripping How does that at Remington. Fit in a glory. Yeah, you hole. really Sexual have to want no, they're big it. holes. They're big out? holes. So listen, I guess it's an asshole. I took, it's I a took, specific hole. Yeah, there's big holes. So I used to let this. Uh, it actually felt good. He was uh, the only time I ever fooled around with an Indian dude. He would take me for twenty dollars songs, and so uh, you were a stripper. Yeah, Remington's okay. downtown, Men of Steel. 
Uh, <laughs> just to know I'm a man of steel. Uh, <laughs> and then and then he would like he couldn't talk, and I would tell him I said don't put your fucking you know I was trying like but I can't sign, so I was like no 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 no. But then he would turn around. This is when I had a great ass. This is like 20 years so ago. You had a great ass. Oh, I had an amazing ass. Really? I had a, a great baseball ass, a shortstop oh, ass. Oh, you know what the yeah. baseball players baseball, do? Really I caught. Ass. I had yeah. a gut. I had a he good. Was they, in a squad all day. I'll, yeah. I'll squat all day. I had, as they would call. Yeah, cake. Can I say a great boy pussy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> back, a back pussy. A, a, a badussy. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I had a fat one. And <laughs> that one. Oh, and this God. deaf guy would just stick his nose in my ass, and wow. it like felt kind of good. But my, oh, like for money? Well, he was like, because like, like when the... you would t- when you do privates, there's an upstairs at Remington's, and they would give you twenty dollars a song. And then what? Like a window thing comes up? No, you would actually do an actual booth. It was like a like, actual stall. Yeah, oh, you're like both. This in makes there. so much and, sense to me now. And then <laughs> between the songs, like the music would cut. I would never trick out. Like, I would never get guys to suck my dick. Or so. The French-Canadian guys would always do that. I mean, I feel like, though, so if you're <laughs> yeah, a stripper, like, yeah. how many times can you get your dick sucked by some dude Oh, in because a they night? don't come. Oh. So, but as soon as you heard, as soon as the Does music was... Does that cost more? Oh, for sure. Like, you go, hey, I'll come, but then it was going to cost Dude, I you? only tricked out once, and I, I let the guy suck my dick for 200 bucks, and I stayed in his place in uh, Crystal City, Maryland. Dude. Crystal City, Virginia. <laughs> Hooker, Crystal Hooker. City. This, this is, is like, like one <laughs> of the areas in Virginia. Hookers of the North. <laughs> J.J. Lieberman. It's, it's called okay. the bathhouse. It was 200 bucks. I was, that was where I was stripping at Secrets and Zigfields, and the guy was like, okay, older, attract. I used to just like younger guys, yeah, but there was like, hey, man, I, for 200 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I was on stage, I was like, I'm a man's man. And I get off and you're like, yeah, a man's man who sucks cock. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you did you, you used to dance, actually dance? I stripped. No, I would just get up there and I would fucking, uh, I would tie. Um, you did the thing where you tie the. I would tie uh, an elastic band around my fucking cock and balls. And I would be so hard. And I would just, yeah, stand there and like, stri- like in D.C. They used to have all this str- uh, gay porn. So I would just like. Fucking stroke my dick. All like right, I was. We, we got a call. I, yeah. Thank, thank, <laughs> thank the fucking <laughs> Lord. I know. Is this gonna get you taken down? No, absolutely not. Honestly, I we you... just can't talk about the vaccine or the election. Yeah. <laughs> but I can talk about my fat yeah, cock. <laughs> it's sex positive. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's hello. going on? This sounds like a very gay conversation. It, it is. Honestly, yeah. you could not have and called you're part that of it now. You're a fucking homo. Why don't yeah. you pitch your nuts more so your voice becomes higher? Mm. How's it, how's it <laughs> going? Who, who am I speaking with? <laughs> Johnny, you this, like that one? This is co- Who's this? This is Covey Killer Clown. Woo-hoo-hoo. Oh, Covey Killer Clown. I met you uh, last week. It's didn't your. I? It's your pod that you will be in with your goggles. You'll be this seeing. Is an absolute s- serial killer. Vibes, yeah, this huh? guy's yeah, wild. Yeah, you met his him own though. Theme song I, did, I did meet him. You yeah, met him at Skankfest? No, he was in. Uh, where did I meet North you? North Carolina. North Carolina somewhere. Yeah. Oh, who's that? What's that? Who said North Carolina? Who's the other guy that said North Carolina? Oh, because you know he was in North Carolina. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, this is, it was one of my closest friends in comedy. Yeah. I know no, where no. he. I know where he tours. Yeah, I mean, he looks at he. He basically. Oh, right, I think right, he has I a. Think, okay, I think he yeah, has yeah. a tracking device in my bag, just so he knows where I'm at. Oh, he does. <laughs> oh, you guys, you, you no. guys killed it. You guys killed it. How's it going, dude? I'm all right. What do you think? <laughs> have, have you ever been to a bathhouse? It's very gay. <laughs> I agree. No, I've never been to a bathhouse, but I work at a uh, aquatic center. <laughs> what, oh, what do you do Let's at go. the aquatic center? That's so fucking watch children. <laughs> Whoa, that's, that's worse than basketball. Well, I mean, that's again. We're we're, we're well. Here. They play basketball. They play basketball, and yeah, they don't. Know, uh, you know, someone's got to supervise them. Yeah. Well. And they trust this guy. This, yeah. coat, this the guy, killer, the killer clown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he sings them yeah. his little song. Hey, I'm like, this guy's <laughs> weird. I'm so, a patriotic only clown. Did you get your name because you love the movie or from John Wayne Gacy? Uh, from the movie. Okay. What movie? What movie? <laughs> killer clowns from outer space. Oh, <laughs> what, 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 oh. Is that what, what no, 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 no? We're from a different planet. <laughs> you guys never watched Killer Clowns from Outer Space? No, never heard. I've of never it, seen no. it. No, I don't. That is. I need to know where are you in the autism spectrum? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's on it. 
I'd say <laughs> I'm on I'm I'm on, I'm on the uh, I'm driving the ice cream truck. <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is this thick on yeah. yeah. twisted, <laughs> like, twisted, like, twisted cl- metal. Clown bit? Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. Uh, what's his name? Sweet Tooth. Yeah. Yeah, sweet tooth. Oh, oh right. I like I like that woohoo woohoo you're doing. That's yeah. tight. That's that's my tagline. Woohoo! So when you so that movie, woo-hoo. the guy's on a um, he's on an ice cream truck, right, or some shit. Don't well, they? They they sell they sell cotton. They 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 have cotton candy and then they kill people and they wrap them in the cotton candy c- cocoons. Right. Oh, in the no. yeah. yeah yeah yeah, killer clowns from outer space. Everybody should watch it. It's a great movie, cult classic. I you know what movie I watched last night, which was. Incredible documentary. Uh, I was telling uh, Ryan, Life of Crime, 1984 to 2020. Really? Oh, who's that? Oh, oh, where? Great. It's on HBO Max. It's so, oh, you're rich. Uh, thank you. Oh, yes, yeah, he yeah, is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell him uh, about join the, the Patreon, Bitcoin baby. Tray. Um, what's that? I said, join the Patreon, baby. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Patreon.com slash low value mail. If you wanna, if you wanna support all the scrotes. D- yeah, he is. We got a scrote right here. All the dumb shit we're doing. Late. Oh. I'll let you do that. Um, so it's called uh, Life of Crime, 1984 to 2020. And they a documentary crew started following around these three guys. It starts with these three guys, but then it ends up two guys and this woman. Mm-hmm. And they start, the literally the do- documentary starts in 1984, and they're like petty criminals. And right. then it goes all the way till 2020. Wow. Like and he follows them and he keeps checking in on them. And they're and big dogs by the time or are they like no, they fucked all die. up? No, so they all get they all get hooked on heroin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh really? Dude, that's how crime goes. Why does it why is take it heroin? It, take it from me. Because you just cause so much destruction and chaos. The only thing that'll make you feel better is some heroin. Dude. Really? Yeah. So is that why you got on it? Yeah, dude. I was thirty. I was thirty when I when I started doing heroin. What? Thirty. Really? 30. I I'd already been I'd been in, in institutions from the time I was 12 till wow. I was 33. Oh, yeah, I started dude, heroin at it's, 30. Oh, I mean, congrats, dude, because it's uh How do I get off? I'm getting on heroin. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. Super hard. No, I had a buddy who his one of his close friends was a hardcore heroin addict and what he would do, he would steal cars and sometimes he would steal like those trucks that have the cars on them. Right. Like and he would oh, ju- dude. And just like turn all that in. What a catch. And he said his favorite shit to do was he would rent a hotel room fill the bathtub up with hot water order a bunch of pizzas and just eat pizzas lay in the bath and do heroin wow. and he would just do that Why? Dude, is eating fun on oh, heroin yeah you throw up sometimes but it's still fun hello <laughs> yeah <laughs> hello 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 hey what's up Hey Danny, James from PA. How are James you? from PA. Doing? How this you guy doing, sounds like a straight shooter. I yeah, like yeah, yeah. He seems like James a, is a good guy. He calls in a low value. He, he seems like he's a legitimate caller. Except when this guy was like <laughs> hooing, who? Like, what was that? He was retarded. He's a yeah, yeah, he's yeah, Kobe was. the Killer Clown. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the fact that he was like on point with those. Woo-hoo. They sounded I mean, the great. The real problem is that I met him in Woo-hoo. real life. So then, like, I'm like, I just it's this guy I met who's doing this clown. No, thing. but the fact was that he just, doing it in real life? No, but I'm saying I met him in Could real life, met? and then now he's doing the. But I'm you, like, you I met know him at Ryan's show. Or we, we were in, uh, I want to say Charlotte. Imagine Is that where the he fire you, he was like, Charlotte. He's like, Danny, I love the pod. He did. He was in the front <laughs> row and he, he was yelling, Scrotes. He goes, Scrotes. Who, who was, was that where the fry <laughs> chef opened the show? No. So Greensboro. Uh, the the comedy zone in Greensboro. This is the greatest. Which thing is like so we me. basically did Charlotte and then you like Greensboro's like kind of on the way. You were there too, eh, Johnny? Yeah, yeah. And then so <laughs> we're the like we're the, the guy like comes up to us and he goes, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be like the he's like the cook. Yeah. And he goes, I'm hosting. <laughs> He goes, I'm going to be the host. And I guess he hosts every show. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, so what are you going to do? Like your announcements? He's like, I'll do like 10 minutes. <laughs> He's like, I got jokes, man. Don't Legitimately, I? no. And he does like crowd work. He does like a couple jokes, but like everybody shut him down, really. And it was like very awkward crowd work. Oh, crowd work sucks. He's not a comic. He's and a then fry he's like cook. literally the cook. <laughs> Fuck. That's and he just, they don't You're going to see him out. Yeah, it's You're going to see him outside your door, Danny, outside on your doorbell more camera with more a likely, rainbow afro on and more, a butcher's knife. Uh, more likely, I'll see Kobe. Kobe um, Killer Clown. How's it going, James? How are things? Just gonna ring your doorbell and go. <laughs> I but, uh, fucking yeah. hope not. So political or not political, you you what, decide. Dan. What do you think of the Elon Musk business? Have you been following that? I've seen a lot of people. Uh, in the I saw that he bought it and he came in with a sink. Yeah, he came and in with a sink. I kind of got the kind of got the joke. I just want to say yeah. this: like, of course, has a black man is at the top of the headlines in the world. A white man, Elon Musk, has to come and just, and just snatch it away. <laughs> From Kanye yeah. West, 
I don't Typical, think it's anything to do with not the intentional. Privileged I mean, white behavior. Elon Musk tried to get out of this so badly. Yeah. Like he's legitimately to essentially like prove a point, spent forty four billion dollars. What did he buy? Twitter. Oh, he did buy it. Yeah. 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 He oh, takes yeah. possession yeah. of it tomorrow. Oh, that's, nice. And that's why this is in the news. Yo, I'm back, he, baby. Oh, <laughs> what, you got kicked out of Twitter? Yeah. No, I just, it's I haven't, I've, it's yeah, coming off the stock stuff. exchange tomorrow. No, it's, it's coming really? off the New They're York Stock Exchange. Yeah, because it's a private. private company. This is going to cause a nuclear war. Elon Musk owns Twitter outright. He personally owns Twitter tomorrow. This is great, though. I think this is great. You know, you said something fantastic to me last night, man, about the direction where people we were talking about. Like, people are. Did JJ call phone. you on the phone? No, 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 no. no, no really. <laughs> oh, because JJ has this thing where, like, he'll, like does not me because I don't. Tolerate like, it. I would never answer. But like, I remember on <laughs> Andre Kim. Like, we found out like they didn't even know each other that well, and they're like, "Yeah, we talk on the phone sometimes." For, like, we an talked hour. till like three thirty in the morning. You and like, Andre, like a bunch of like twelve-year-old yeah. girls. About oh. comedy, though. About comedy. <laughs> oh, whatever. God. Who cares? I'm not talking about like that lo- disgusts me. Really? I'm, yeah, I'm oh. disgusted with Why? you. Why? Right I love now. talking comedy. I you could, and Andre. I could ask you the same question and hear your opinion. Just I want to hear the dissect. I do that. Yeah. What do you What do you do with Andre? You go. So like I have this joke and it's like I'm no because up he's a open for some cool guys. I said what was that like? What was his process? That like what <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> he's open some for some monsters. And what did you take away yeah, from what did you Andre, take away from Andre you Kim about somebody's process? The great JJ? Andre Kim. I, uh, probably I'm gonna be famous and uh, <laughs> no, these guys, so many of these guys think they're gonna be famous. It's like dude, you're not gonna be famous. But anyway, you know, let's go. I think you know. a lot of us just want to eat. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Just want to I mean, if you eat. just don't have to have a regular job, that's, that's, that's enough. Of, that's, that's the way it would be great. Day. JJ, I remember when we first met, that's one of the first things you ever said to me, actually. What, what did I say? That I just you just want, want to be eat. famous. I do. Yeah. I'd like, this is at the <laughs> Crown and Tiger 10 years ago. I, I, I thought about becoming a comedian for a minute, and then I watched uh, Bo Burnham's latest special, and... People kind of makes me want to just not do. It. Yeah, yeah it's no, it's incredible. Yeah, it's a little yeah. too incredible. That's a one man show, my yeah. guy. That's a different yeah. thing. It also, is. Yeah, I fucking Very. I can't really like. So everyone's like, it's amazing, and I respect what he does. But I'm like, I'm just, thirty and I'm white, so like, I kind of get where he's. Oh, dude, from. you'll go right to the top. <laughs> you'll shoot right up. Oh yeah. yeah. Is everybody? No, it, is he just the... he hits home at that right level, like that right age, being white and being stuck inside. I mean, he that was like a big YouTuber. Oh, he's huge. He was. He was. He was so yeah. big you can't uh, you can't take away like how he has such a big following even if he fell from it's the same thing like Dane Dane used to be a theater guy and he's still so big because he was so big but that's like that's like yeah. but with the with the fuck that's what I'm talking about with the fucking uh, Bo Burnham thing his whole thing is like I'm sad is the whole fucking that's special it, yep. and it's like he's like oh I can't believe I'm gonna be turning 30 and I'm only it's like dude you're one of the biggest you have three Netflix specials oh, yeah. and he's like yeah. oh I'm only and also well, and the highest the thing yeah, about Bo too yeah, is like, mental illness he's not a it's slouch. hard for him to fully see where he's at because I think he like he get almost hates it. himself. I, I think he hates. No, I know. Yeah, like, I know. It, it sucks because it makes it worse. This is where the art comes so, from. Yeah, I guess so. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? It's true. If he didn't lock himself in and go nuts like that, then songs like uh, "Welcome to the Internet." If you watched that little song he did from there, I think I that's a I fucking don't masterpiece in, of a song. I don't take part in alternative comedy. I don't. T- I don't partake <laughs> in fucking sad boy comedy. Everyone's sad. I don't think so. Like you have, I, 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 I it's like the fucking. Well, I used to say this like the, uh, airplane jokes used to be hack. It's to me, it's now the fucking I'm in therapy yeah. jokes. Oh, Everyone's yeah. in fucking therapy. <laughs> yeah. Like it's fucking cool. It's not fucking cool also, that you're fucking. It was cool when Soprano well, that's did it. Why, I and think it, JJ it, needs therapy. That's why JJ, I like uh, a lot. You want to know how badly JJ that's needs therapy? I don't need therapy. JJ, I don't take no fucking pills. <laughs> J- I don't fucking. JJ, I live on the fucking floor. I should be in therapy and I'm happy. Okay, JJ <laughs> tried to pay and he's really into wet nurses. Oh, okay, yeah, I know about that. Titty milk, <laughs> but he goes, <laughs> it's not even like a like you don't fuck them. He goes, you just like suck their titty. Yeah, it's, it's obviously an issue with your mother. <laughs> you were not held as a child. It's literally like an issue with your mother. It's that not is because unresolved. I don't want to fuck my mom. You yes, no, you but do. you no, want to suck, suckle, I suck on her you titties. Want to suckle her titty. You want no, that mother's not milk. My mom. Yeah, like, she I can't, rejected. I can't. She didn't give you enough titty. But it, and it, so now in life you're paying a substitute mother two hundred fifty dollars an hour or more. 
or more. Uh, Hopefully we get the number one in Dallas. (laughs) And you probably don't have sex with him because you're like, that would be, I'd be banging my mom at that point. No, but daddy issues and mommy issues. He just jacks off in front of him. Yeah, sure. That sounds hot. (laughs) But no, but daddy issues are like, there are women who will, in their 20s now, this is, it's going crazy right now. That are reaching out to me. I showed you. Did I show you that? Yeah, they're hot oh, yeah. too. It's they're so hot. wild. And they're reaching out to me because I remind them of their father. Right. These titty milk it, it women. Is, JJ, do you think daddy is issues just started? It is crazy the level of hot chick that yeah. JJ yeah. pulls. Yeah, and these, oh, like, you saw the one who insane. I was. With. He's yeah. fucked like naked news chicks and like, like rockets, and they're yeah. coming to his, his doorstep, being yeah. like, "I'd love to suck your dick." It's yeah. like, what oh, fucking? I, <laughs> like, what planet are we in? Because I'm like Derek. These chicks think I might become famous. Yeah. I fuck Do you a lot have the of role players too, the daddy No, no, I'm not saying you yeah. won't become famous. He's a, but he's a real he, bad boy. You're like no, a fake no, one. No, I love him. I, that's why, dude. He's my first fucking guest. I think he's the ultimate bad boy. But he says you're not going <laughs> to become bad boy. Yeah. Ultimate, ultimate bad, bad boy. boy. <laughs> but I'm not attracted UBB? to him. Like, but but you, uh, when so he said like all that. these guys said they're going to be famous, I don't think Wait, like did that. Did we say that we were? Were we saying that you were attracted to Derek? No, but you're saying you're saying I'm not going to become famous. Yeah, he just said that, right? Back to my career. You just said I'm not attracted to him. Let's talk to my... No, because I said ultimate bad boy, and then you said ultimate bad boy like I'm fucking got a hard on for him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody really insinuated no, that. The first you. podcast <laughs> I was <laughs> ever on, the na- they named the episode Do You Want a Bad Boy? That was the name yeah. of the first was podcast. Was it females? It was, yeah, it was a dating, I told dating you. podcast. I can, I, can, I can nail that. Okay, nail someone it. in the chat says the immense research. He goes, LOL, LOL what, why would JJ say he's not attracted to him in all caps? <laughs> Because I'm a fucking queer, stupid. Stupid, I'm a queer. And he insinuated that I like him because he's a fucking bad boy. Sometimes, sometimes girls just, have assholes too, JJ. Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, I don't think the, you're your JJ's type. I no. think JJ no. likes a smooth, Twinks. twinky yeah. kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah. Have, I'd rather fuck <laughs> ugly Johnny than Derek. No, you ugly like a guy Johnny. that you can no that you can abuse. Yeah. Has his That's nickname sure. always been Ugly Johnny? No, he's he's just nobody sure. calls him Ugly Johnny. <laughs> Johnny's actually very handsome. Johnny is Southern royalty. Yeah, I don't think you guys know that. Ugly you are, Johnny. We are literally. This guy is real royalty. By the way, but shout you can't out, get mad shout out he to doesn't want producer. me fucking him either, right? Yeah. By the way, shout out to the producer uh, Johnny. He's Robert. the best. Yeah, he's, he's the best. We, uh, he's I would rock in this show. I would be able to tell if JJ liked me because my homophobia would go right yeah, through the roof. For sure, I'd be able to tell. I don't touch nobody. Johnny is the man. He doesn't touch. Johnny is the man because he knew how broke we're. And he would buy snacks when we did the last road trip together. Yeah, and he, he and again, I, I, can I say that you're royalty, Johnny? Are yeah. you actually royalty? Yes, he's we picking from his fucking teeth. He <laughs> is a direct descendant of Robert E. Lee. <laughs> Are you, Are you really? serious? Isn't that the, oh, one of the first days? Like a statue. Yeah. One of the first days I met him, and then when the statues all getting turned down, I go, "Sorry, Johnny, man, I feel for you." Man. <laughs> <laughs> He was now, a wait, Confederate, guys. In Canada, yes, he, was, is, he would have been the king hey, of America. JJ. Hey, don't don't show this on camera, at a boy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is there racism? We don't edit this. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't get it's live <laughs> stream. <laughs> this doesn't get it. <laughs> yeah. Is there racism it's in truly Canada? Low value. Yes, there yeah. is racism in Canada. But there was never any slaves in Canada, correct? <laughs> uh, apparently, someone said there was. Like, so I, I think thought the East Coast had some slaves. Yeah, and yeah. then like Dartmouth yes. and all that. Shit. Dartmouth, yeah, Dartmouth. And, yeah. and then someone called into my other show and they said that there was slavery in Canada. Of course there is. Of course there was. But I, thought we had... I mean, there's slaves now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but I'm saying like proper, like because we have. Don't you remember the the Underground Railroad? Johnny, uh, where are the where uh, are the slaves now? Canadian Johnny. heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were the moment. I think a lot. A lot of places were good, but it's like it's back then. It's like hard to fucking get everywhere. So there's some place that might have been like, hey, we're chill with the slaves. Yeah. Right, right, right. right. Um, but yeah, we did have because remember that for Canadians, you know, we have this these Canadian heritage moments. Right. What's up, Marcelo Hernandez, everybody? Uh, the Canadian heritage moments, and then they had that one. Remember, where the Underground Railroad, and yeah, they yeah. made it out that we didn't have slaves. Yeah. And they don't teach you in school that we. I think slaves. a small areas did. I said I said East Coast, but no, I actually know for a fact that a lot of the East Coast was actually fucking real cool. Oh. Towards the slaves, the East Coast is fucking sick. You just actually were, were in the Eastern Canada shooting a movie. Yeah, right? I was out. I was out in Eastern Canada doing a movie out there. Eastern Canada is fucking most incredible place. I've and never it's beautiful. been there. It's beautiful. It's yeah. like okay, James. I'm gonna let you go. We're just rambling right now. It's, open up the lines, it's visually it, beautiful. Everyone out there is like Irish descent. So they're all funny. They all can tell a joke. They all love to drink, and the women are loose. The women are fucking. Lo- I fucked 
like a king up Apple, there. Really? I was fucking so much I had to start canceling meetings with chicks because I was like, I'm not making any content. Well, the fact that you're yeah, calling yeah, them yeah. meetings. <laughs> 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 what do you send? Do you send them like a calendar link? I, I'm fucking. I'm on chlamydia medication right now. That's, nice. how, much, that's how much I was fucking out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got. I, I, I respect twice. that. Yeah, yeah. I respect. I respect anyone who's on something that means they fuck. Yeah, yeah. I now, no. but I have to. Like, I'm. I'm officially retiring the raw dick. Like no own. Like <laughs> it's only a few exclusive chicks are getting it because this was my fifth time catching chlamydia. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, dude. Yeah, Damn. There's time. no uh, fire. No way to get an <laughs> What's that? There's no immunity. Apparently not. I've tried. Has, has it, it like gotten COVID? easier to beat every time? Like, does it go run through your system quicker now? So this time that I caught it, I barely even noticed I had it. Like so there this is a time, bit. maybe I'm getting stronger too. Yeah, so yeah. maybe I should just keep pushing it yeah. until I fucking. Your body is yeah. defeating. For now, you'll only problem, be a carrier. The guess. problem <laughs> with the clap, though, once I got, I got, I believe it, I probably banged. First of all, people always, right, even when I do call. buy guys, they tell me I'm insufferable with the gay stuff. Mm -hmm. But I probably banged two, three hundred dudes unprotected, and then you catch it once. And every time you have something out of your dick, you're like, you're like oh, oh you're like, is that it? Oh, is that it? PTSD. Yeah. Your dick always hurts it's in your yes. mind. Yeah, yeah. That's Hello? the only problem. Hello. Thanks for Hello? calling the bathhouse. Hey, buddy. Hello. First, I want to say that I am a friendly clown. Woohoo. Even though my name is. <laughs> Was that him again? Yeah, yes. of course. Woo. His timing's Yeah, impeccable. it was weird because I spoke with him and he wasn't doing the clown bit, but. But his timing's really. This is a guy who's a good clown. Imagine he does show up at your door and he's like, "Hey, Danny," like through the ring. <laughs> you just gotta be like, "Hey, man, do you want a cup of coffee? Yeah. Just invite him in." Yeah, just, just like, like yeah. you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. dude. The, you know he literally just got hung up on and is dying laughing right now. Yeah, he's probably he's enjoying it. I mean, we, we hung out with him for a little bit. Well, a oh. guy who's going, ooh, 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 he's probably like got a sub or Pretty, like like masochist kind of fetish. Like, yeah, for sure. That's interesting. Yeah, weird, weird too. Um. At that club in North Carolina, only comedy club I've ever been to, you have to walk through a metal detector because that's, really? a, that's where the Craig Robinson shooting was. There was a Craig Robinson shooting? Oh, yeah. 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 Craig Robinson, There was he was in the green room of the Charlotte Comedy Zone, and someone walked in and sh started firing. Jesus. And they had to evacuate it, and so now you have to go through a metal detector to go into a comedy club. Jesus yeah. Christ. Well, yeah. Well, you oh, know. We'll see. Hello. I know who this is. This is Wallaby. What's up, Wallaby? Hey, it's Wallaby. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> By the way, Wallaby is hey. who does the intro music. That's his music. That, oh, that, sick, right? Yeah, yeah. What's up, dude? Glad you guys like it. Fucking hilarious show tonight, guys. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you're learning enjoyed. all kinds of new shit about JJ. Yeah, you didn't know. I, I've done all his learned. podcasts. JJ is a uh, 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 a sexual, a homosexual deviant. deviant. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he's just a deviant. Yeah, yeah, I only knew him to be. I only knew him to, you know, commit mail fraud before, but now I know he's a deviant. Oh, I don't know nothing about. It. By the way, <laughs> I had a lawyer wire come up and to me. Wire fraud. We were in Columbus, and a lawyer <laughs> came up to me, and he's like, "By the way, just know you're fine." <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "There's nothing to be worried about." Was that uh, you? That's hilarious. Oh, that was because it was. We we went from like it, that was the week before the mail fraud thing, and then we did Cincy. A Chicago Cincy in Columbus, and it was like the last day, and I was, I was still texting you. I told you. you you're fine. JJ got so stressed. JJ called in. I did so a low-value mail. I did an episode, and it was like low-value life hacks. And then JJ calls in, and he's like, okay, this is my life hack. Uh, he goes, I buy dog food. I, know, I from, buy many things, not just but dog food. But he goes, food. I, do I buy dog food from Amazon. He goes, mm. I take a bunch out. And Half of I, it? Half out, and then I return it. And I go, I go, JJ, that's fraud. Yeah, that's not a life hack. That's theft. <laughs> that's just fraud. <laughs> and then a lawyer called in, and he like, oh, there's a lawyer who I've met in Austin, but who lives in Denver. Calls in, and he goes, yeah, it's actually like subsection, blah blah. blah. He goes, it's actually wire fraud. Wire he, fraud. Yeah, yeah, that's what freaked me that, out. Well, that's what they get you for in America. Right? Yeah, America fraud. is just everything here is wire fraud. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's just like you call somebody. Wire fraud or tax evasion. Yeah. yeah. No, but wire fraud because it's it's like. You think it would be like oh bank wires, but it's like no, it's using the wires. The wires, anything the that phone requires wires. wires. Yeah, anything oh, yeah. that requires wires to commit a crime. Wire fraud is wire, wire fraud. fraud. Yeah. Jesus. But anyway, yeah. so JJ, but JJ was stressed. Asian, but I, yeah. What's up, Olivia? What do you like? What do you think? What do you think that the Twitter deal is just another way for Elon Musk to not have to like pay taxes on the money he's holding on to? Like I don't know much about this stuff. But like you said, it sounded like well, he doesn't he really, really pay taxes do because he's so rich. Well, no, because so yeah. really rich people, what they do is they do this thing. Um, well, he did. He has paid the single biggest tax bill in American history, personally. Mm -hmm. 
But oh, really? rich people, what I didn't they? Know that. Yeah, yeah. Last year he paid ten billion. But rich people, what they do is, is they. So he owns like say his, ten billion. Ten billion. Yeah. Jeez. He owns. Um, Fuck, and dude. go like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, so was, he owns. In the words he, of Chris D'Elia, did it make a dent? Right. Yeah. Didn't no, make a dent. no, no. <laughs> uh, so, but he, so what he does is he takes loans out against his shares that he owns instead right. of selling shares for money he takes loans oh, out I the same way this. you do it in crypto right no 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 different but then he pays interest on the loans right against his uh, holdings and so not only does he not make any money he loses he's losing money, money paying mm. interest every year so, so he, he pays, probably got the PPP uh, maybe one of his companies Mid- for like $50,000 50, I would imagine <laughs> I have no idea about that but I'm saying so he doesn't know he doesn't pay taxes but he had to sell a bunch of like he tried to get out of this Twitter deal so hard it's so wild in to me, every though. way but he made a mistake because he agreed to it when the stock market was doing so much better and then it just like fell apart sure. as of midnight tonight he owns Twitter uh, I don't know if it's, yeah maybe this is wild this yeah, is yeah. wild I, I, like, probably, but isn't there like a similar thing with the cars like when you like pre-order like that was a thing with the cyber trucks right where like he collected all these pre-orders right and it was only a hundred dollars to put in your pre-order but then he can go to the bank and say hey I've got you know thousands and thousands of pre-orders right. you want to loan me some money yeah yeah I mean, yeah maybe like for maybe for, like for the business if they, if they need money but. i mean he's not a bozo the guy like no, the production no. line no. So, yeah. yeah look at look at that fucking hair piece he has this yeah. is amazing. oh that's not a hair piece <laughs> what, you think that's surgery oh yeah are you yeah, crazy in, jj in head. it's you amazing think elon musk is wearing a hair piece How, but that's like i the mean best. daniel negranu who i've saw in person like i, saw I mean him compared to jj i guess maybe it looks like one no, no this is bad but i know but that's <laughs> that's like telling you you're fucking he, stupid dumbass yeah. Oh, burn, <laughs> like, dude. You're a fucking moron. I know I'm bald. Yo, yo burn, dude. Hey, buddy, let me tell you oh. this. Hey, there you go. Hit the yo, dude, the you're, the, you're the Hit the showers. Hold on, Try the fucking cold you're showers the right now. You're the white version of Donnell Rawlings, Why dude. Do that? dude <laughs> that's the rules of the bathhouse. That's the rules of the bathhouse. But when he's going to come in with such an easy layup and then get you guys excited, no, no, sorry, bye. I fucking am deep. Deep in how I think. I love this. This one right here. Jesus. I'm an artist. <laughs> I stole I'm this one. I'm an artist. Who's Who's white people? Who's Polly Polly Walnuts. Polly Walnuts. I did it Who's once. Polly Walnuts. From Sopranos. Oh, so no, I did it, this is, I did it um, one time. Sonny from Bronx. Dale. I did it one time, and these guys are like, what are you fucking doing? Stuck. And you're like, oh, no, I'm <laughs> in. Just like I used to wear the hotel towel with the lines on oh. it, because they would get so mad. They're like, what? A comic came up to me. He's like, what the fuck do you have a towel around your JJ? neck for? Yeah. It's stuck. Yeah, JJ as literally soon, started as soon as wearing you get under people's skin. You're like, hey, you're yeah. like, he's a troll. He's a troll. troll. Yeah, yeah. JJ started wearing a towel scarf. <laughs> he goes, it's a towel scarf, and it's literally like a hotel <laughs> hand towel. Four <laughs> years I wore it. It was in four years. Insane. <laughs> Commit to Every the winter, I have it in here. I have it in New York. I'll hey, fucking. You don't I took it I'll fucking road. do it. I'll well, fuck well, your ass. Road. Road. I'll it's fuck you loud out there. I'll fuck your ass, and while I wear the towel. Are you gonna do the 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 fucking turkey hair plugs? Yes. You do that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! Barker, Come on, Barber Barker again. Yeah. Oh, You're yeah. going to Turkey? It's like three thousand dollars, and you get no. amazing hair. Oh, yeah, well, that was the thing. It's is... a fucking trip to Turkey. Yeah. It's a well, no, no, no. I don't think that's not on the table anymore, is it? Of course. I it think is. it is. From I think what, it's still huge. Ryan? Ryan. No, no. Remember Ryan? So someone messaged Ryan. No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, no. This is for me. Someone messaged Ryan, and they go, "Hey." We like have this tur- this hair plug business in Turkey. Yeah. If you want to like work together, and Ryan's like, I have lots of hair. I yeah. <laughs> like I don't need. The we thing. go, dude. Turkey then, has amazing food. Yeah. Turkish oh, yeah. food is outstanding. Dude, you guys get kebab. Yeah. Oh, tur- the and food they know is, how to put women in place is, over there. Yeah, the food in Istanbul is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> That's the most important thing. <laughs> yeah, women are, yeah, women are subservient. They, they, they don't like gay shit. You fucking eat a kebab, you smack a oh, woman, you get new hair. Like what else it's do you want? It's illegal. I don't yeah. mind not as it doing... Should, as it should be. As as it it should be. <laughs> well, no, you heard about the way they do it over there. I think it's Turkey. They, they roll a rock on you, right? No, I think in Turkey the way it's like if you're gay, you can get out of fucking. Me- uh, oh, but you need a, yes, they need yeah. a video of it. Yeah, they need a video of you taking Who it in the I ass. Just yeah. here, do a joke about that. Uh, Basam Shaw. Basam Shaw. Yeah. Shout yeah. out Basam Shaw. No, no, ama- it's fucking. What's his name? Oh, uh, he Hassan joke. Piker was talking about it, and oh. yeah, how? But it's you have to be the one getting fucked. Damn, yeah. Turkish yeah. military jokes are becoming hackers. I'm gonna be in the military. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's got a Turkish military joke, man. Yeah, you have to be a bottom, otherwise you can't get out of. And a doctor has to look. At it, a doctor has to look at the footage and like declare you gay, and then you don't go to There's the. There's some gay. Ass would you do that to get out of the military? Like gay and then a checkbox, yes or no? And he goes, yeah, 
Yeah. You would yeah. take it in the ass yeah. to get out of the military? Take it in the ass to get out of work. <laughs> 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 Joe has had an ass. Joe, Joe. Shout out to Joe the Shark. And you would take it in the uh, ass. No, I've never gotten fucked. I oh, said this on Bird's podcast. Right. You have a virgin booty yeah, hole. I don't, I don't like getting fucked. Virgin booty hole? How do you hole? know? Because I've had fingers in my ass. I've had tongues in my Gay. ass. Fingers. <laughs> the, only good thing about, the only good thing about a finger is that it made me shit really nicely the next day. It loosened really? you up. Yeah. Yeah. Loosened, it loosened the them bowels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really oh. did. Whenever stool was in there, it's coming out clean. Yeah. yeah. This is <laughs> <laughs> he, I can tell he really didn't like it because he's like, nah. no, I don't. It's not my thing. Ass play is not my thing. I don't like it with chicks either. You know, I'm not big into ass play on on chicks. Like, I, like I've fucked a few girls in the ass, mm -hmm. and it's always the same thing. It smells kind of like farts. Okay. You yes. always get a little poo on your dick. Yep. Always like, a little on the. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's and not. It's and not you can get an infection if when your peepee -pee hole opens to uh, disperse of the uh, the semen, you can get poop inside yeah, your peepee. -pee. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. an appealing thing to me. And also, yeah, the pussy's yeah, yeah. great. The pussy's it's fucking amazing. legendary. I don't. Yeah. Need to I stick it in a you. different hole. It's a pretty good yeah. design. Yeah, I it's did try to fuck this one girl in the ass, and her ass was so tight. tight, like it was so tight I couldn't get my dick in. That made me want to be like, oh, well, now I want to. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you're like, oh, I gotta get up in here. Yeah, yeah. I gotta. But get she up. was probably bracing. That was. Like, I think. Yeah. I think oh, she was scared. Yeah, yeah, she was scared for sure. Yeah. It was her idea though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think she. Yeah. I guess my ex didn't let me fuck her in the ass because she said I feel I'm too worried it might flip you to <laughs> to remember the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're you're back to women mostly now. Um, I'm not. I, I I've I've hooked up with one person in a year. I did at Skankfest have a B SS BBW super What's size. SS? You a love the SS BBW. Oh, that super are you? Size. I didn't her? Know that was no, a, no, she genre. wasn't there. She wasn't there. Oh, this is another one who I found dude. on FetLife. And she, she came up to the hotel. I got high as fuck. And <laughs> this is the greatest How thing. So <laughs> she have. smoked cigarettes and she wanted me to go down on her. And I, I have one hard rule. It, you have to be a smoke show for me to eat your pussy. Right, right. right. So whenever I tell them, like when with so bigger you just chicks. Say no? No, I'll just say, no, I can't because the acidity of your pussy yeah. will ruin my throat for comedy. <laughs> 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 the champ is here. It's brilliant. So anytime you have a chick, <laughs> you're like, oh. what a genius, right? You can't be become a comedic genius without knowing shit like that. Oh, but I'll eat anyone's pussy, man. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, Even the fuck. BBWs? Uh, I mean, I haven't fucked a BBW, but really? I fucked some bigger girls. And yeah. I'll, I'll eat anyone's pussy. Like, I really don't give a shit what a girl looks like. Like, I like I'm talking like seven and above. It's all really? the, it's all the same. Yeah. Because no. I'm like, who, but I, who is like, what do you bring to the table sexually? How are we fucking? But I've, I've got some important. threes and twos in the mix. There's a big <laughs> difference between a seven threes? and above and oh, a yeah. three and a two in the mix. Threes and twos. Someone oh, yeah. said JJ is softer than the grass outside. <laughs> <laughs> Center left gay. Oh, Ryan says oh hey, man. What? No, I'm good. Oh, Center left gay. Wait, no, hold on. You guys would definitely not be gay. Why? Yeah, I need to gay. switch. I'm getting fucking. You get You're cooking? No, I'm choking. I'm messing oh, up. Okay. Oh, because the guys have I don't want the gay. I don't what do you guys think about all the Jew stuff? Me. You're Jewish, right? Yeah, I'm half Jewish, half Puerto Rican, half Jewish. Are you really half yeah. Puerto Rican? That's yeah. where you get the toughness from. Not from. <laughs> Not but Jews used to, the old school Jews used to be tough as fuck. Like what the boxers well, in the twenties? No, but like <laughs> even the guy, no, the guy who fixed the guy who fixed the uh, uh, black socks, the yeah, Chicago yeah. White Sox. Yeah. Those guys the were guys tough. The guys in the twenties, Arnold, the, yeah. yeah, Arnold, well, was it Rostin, Ro yeah, Rostin, Rostin. Yeah, yeah. Rostin. So listen, those my, guys were bad. My family here, they they were in, they grew up in the Lower East Side. They're from the Lower East Side. They were like they were not lawyers or bankers. They. Uh, what the fuck? Is that, is that a vacuum? Yeah. Blender? They can't hear. That's it, they were not lawyers or doctors or bankers. They they fucking had a, they owned a, uh, like a a knife shop. It was like a it's like a sharpener culinary shop. Oh, like, it's like a culinary equipment. Yeah, they yeah, and they and were they were drapists. They made drapes, I guess. So okay, and drapists. some of them were involved in criminal yeah, drapists. Yeah. No, yeah. but that's what Ju Juice had. Ju Juice had like textile companies. Yeah. Juice had stuff like that. They had yeah. like cutlery. A, it was yeah, a cutlery yeah. store. Oh, gotcha. So, but also some of them were involved in crime. So, yeah, like my. My Jewish side of the family is actually a little rougher than the Puerto Rican side. Interesting. Yeah, I, broken stereotype. Yeah, there. yeah. We we're, and we're we're all even up until the end. Like the most anybody did was own a construction company. Oh. So tough Jews, tough That's, Jews. Yeah, very tough Jews. Yeah. But I don't listen. I'm not really mad at Kanye at all. Like the funniest shit that's come out of this. You hear about this fucking these dumb bitches at the yes. uh, Wesley College. These liberal no. cunts. So it's no. so all women's college in Massachusetts. When once Kanye started their sh his shit, they were like, "Yeah," and they they Wait, created they liked it. Hmm? They liked they were for it. They, they created. The listen, what they did. Stuff? They created a Jew map. 
of the town where the college is. It was like Jewish businesses. So I was like, what is it, 12 banks in one bagel shop that they were going <laughs> to fucking go protest that? And, you know, like these are all like hairy armpit, dumb yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. yeah, but they were bitches. Against- now, people are, now the people are cracking down on them. I'm like, you fucking idiots. You know what I mean? I mean, that's pretty wild. Yeah. Well, that's dude, a- there's so much. There was so much oh, anti-Semitism bit- on the left. Yeah, or, and now everyone's like, oh. So it's like, dude, I, we know. Everybody I hates Kanye us. brought the right and the left together in their dislike of Jews. The guy is just sick. Like, I don't take anything he's so you serious. Think, you think it's all... Well, I the, think he's just genius and, like, he wanted to get out of his contract. That this. is also another... That, oh, that's wow. a potential thing. But with the thing with Kanye is, it's like, Kanye's always been, like, it's great music. If you're into fashion, he's been a fashion icon. But his, like, philosophies... No one's ever given a fuck about. No. He's always said wild shit, and it's never. And everyone's kind of like, oh yeah, yeah. Put out another Kanye album. Kanye being Kanye. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now it's like start the scale starting to tip, where it's like he's saying crazier shit than his music is good. Right. And it's right. like it's like, bro, put out an album or something. Yeah. That yeah. well, Sonus- Donda Two is coming. Oh, no, isn't it? Didn't it already come out? It's, it's, no, I, think it I don't know if he. It doesn't seem like there's an album coming on this one. A lot of people think he's in like. The way, because of how he looks, he's like you know, with the beard and everything, that he's in production mode. Oh, yeah. yeah, the people, yeah. That's what we, you know, but it, everything's have speculation you ever, have you at this ever point. Encounters with black Israelites. That's what people yes, think, I was like in incarcerated the with a few, and even the neighborhood it's, I grew up tough, in. Right? They're, yeah, they are. They are tough, and they don't. They told like, do you me. You ever be like, "Hello, fellow Jew." Well, you I went to go stuff? to synagogue one day, and they were like, "Yeah, nah, you ain't really Jewish." Yeah, yeah. And they were like, "The." Uh, they think they're like Jews. The actual Jews are not actual Jews. They're well, the actual Jews because they're they, the Jesus we're Jews. Pastors. They read both books of the. You know, they leave the. They read the Old Testament, the New Testament. And there's some uh, stuff in the New Testament that talks about the Hebrews being taken as slaves and on boats. Mm-hmm. So they believe that they're that are talking about coming from Africa to America as part of the slave trade. So, yeah. I mean, uh, well, I, I don't read the New Testament. I never did. You know, you know, uh, I don't read either. Do you, yeah. uh, you, you, know, you know, all you that shit that never happened. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the lies. Yeah. I mean, I'm not super religious, but it's like, I'm not really tight at Kanye. I just think he needs some help, man. Think so? Yeah. yeah. Seems he's like so. unhelpable, though. Could possibly. Yeah, it's like, how do you? Because he's so rich and stuff. It's like, what is someone's gonna come in? And every time anyone tries to argue with him, he's like, I make more money than you. Yeah, That's his, always I his hate argue. that shit. His, his like Lex a, Friedman was all right. Well, I didn't see it. Someone was, no was telling me you. this today. What would you guys do if all of a sudden Kanye? Polo shirt wearing backpack Kanye comes out. He's like, guys, it wasn't me. It's a clone. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? My mother's dead? What do you know? I need he's my been mo- in ice or something. Yeah. <laughs> Plastic surgery. What? Yeah, that's so funny to me. Like, it's not really him, but. The, those bitches are the ones that piss me off the most because you I obviously tell this that is, is the like, Jew map thing is pretty crazy. That is to like deal. avoid these businesses. You could take it another another. St- yeah, they were going to protest those businesses, but you could take it another step further. It's like all right, so you protested every business in the town. Sure. You protested your TV you know and everything my, you watch on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, one of my absolute favorite things from the pandemic was right at the beginning. So you remember at the very beginning of the pandemic, um, China was uh, kicking out Africans. Yeah, and they're also remember that? They, making remember? Muslim slaves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, they're doing that always, but they were like, at the, at, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they, no, they yeah. really are, like the Uyghurs and stuff. But they were yeah. kicking out at the beginning of the pandemic. They were like, Africans have been, they tried to say like Africans brought COVID mm. to China. Wow. So then they were kicking Africans out of uh, China, right. like uh, who were there like legally and all that stuff to work or whatever. So they're kicking them out. And so then there's a thing called the New Black Panther Party in America. They're like, they're kind of like probably the... The Black Panther? No, but they're like more like Hebrew Israelites. They're like right. pretty hardcore. And then they went uh, in uh, Washington, D.C., and they went and they just protested a random Chinese restaurant. That's hilarious. <laughs> like straight up, they just picked some Chinese restaurant. And let me tell you something <laughs> about those guys. They love to argue scripture. Yeah, they will argue, like, and they'll they won't even get violent. They but they will argue with you all. Like they've read it all. If you don't know scripture, they're like, get the fuck out of here, get <laughs> out of you fucking jerk. I <laughs> love that. Like it's like you're it's like arguing fairy tales. Mm-hmm. It's like fucking if you're like, oh, Santa Claus yeah. was gay. Santa Claus wasn't gay. It's yeah, like, yeah. like fucking who cares, dude? <laughs> arguing we're, fairy tales. We're not oh, talking about anything real. Like Lev just did a. Uh, a po- like I talked about them on this podcast. He had an episode yeah. called Black Israelites, and there was Israelites in the chat or the comments. And they were like, "Yo, don't even talk about this if you don't know scripture." Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, they so, were in the chat. It's funny. They're like, "Man, you motherfuckers are lame." They're, they're yeah. aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan saw them in Raleigh, and he was like, "There, you were with them, right?" Yeah. What did they say? They were like, they were, they're basically like chanting like Hitler was right. They're crazy. 
Yeah, he goes. He goes. Yo! The Jew, he goes yeah, they they were saying that in the public. They go the Jews. Quite a do, roast. He goes the Jews wanted to be black. So, so this is what they, they told me, right? Because I wanted to go to synagogue funny, in a black uh, Hebrew Israelite synagogue. What are synagogues? Black Hebrew Israelite synagogues. I mean, the like? thing they have all the traditional stuff, which you, you'll see a menorah, you'll see all that stuff, but there's also Jesus is there too. But it, they're usually in old synagogues that were old Orthodox synagogues. Mm -hmm. But they were like, "Yeah, you're not welcome here, my man." Um, in in incarceration, like no, this was when I was out, and they were oh, like, yeah. "Yeah," I was like, "Yo, but I'm Jewish," and they were like, "Nah, whites ain't really Jew." They were like, uh, "Yeah, they say that, right?" They yeah, they're Jew. like, "You guys like kept the religion alive and shit," so we're like, "But they're like, yeah, you can't, you're yeah, not, you're not say, welcome here." They say Je black saying. Jesus, Jesus is Jew, but yeah. black Jesus, right? Oh man, I didn't even know about any of this. I have zero religion growing up. Like, yeah, no fucking, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Jesus shit. was the Jew, if you think yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah. But, but they, they don't really teach you about. Like when I was a kid, I didn't understand. Like, I, don't, gonna, I don't think I knew about. They're gonna start Hebrew popping up until I hope. Yeah, so. they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're I mean, we got right a porn. Now. We got a porn bot popped up. Oh, nice. hey. let's yeah, see if she calls it. One of the mods. Will, so wait, oh, is Wall Kanye a black Israelite now? I no. well, he said yes. He says some black Israelite stuff. Like he's saying where he goes, I can't be an anti semite because I'm Jewish. Yeah. But he doesn't are the say it. No, he, he says I'm Jew. I'm Jew. Which like. Growing up Jewish, you never heard people. By the say way, why that. don't you? Why don't we put up a thing where people can tip for appetizers? Well, you're <laughs> Jew too, aren't you? Tip for appetizers. I yeah, one with super chats. Super the, chats. Tip for you. Do want to give yeah. JJ? Jay, what, what were you? What was your family? I, if anything, my dad was raised Baptist. My mom was raised Catholic. I okay. think. but okay. both of them like little no religion, zero religion yeah. in the house. They both abandoned it years before I was even born. So you had a good upbringing. Oh yeah, no, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. probably great <laughs> Christmas. Uh, what's that? Christmas? Cri yeah, we do Christmas. Yeah, yeah but Christmas, like, Christmas, Christmas is more as fun. Christmas is capitalism. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Christmas yeah. capitalism. Yeah. yeah, I actually celebrated Christmas when this was with the hot chick. Um, when, during COVID, it was so much fun. It was my first Christmas during COVID. Oh, dude, it's great. Oh. You just what? eat food and you get presents. It's yeah. fucking eat sick. Eat food, get presents. It has nothing to do with religion. It's yeah. all capitalism, yeah. baby. Easter, Look. Christmas, all that shit. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving too. Oh, I can't oh, wait. We got we got to do a proper Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, yeah right? some shit I, I do it with my um, girl's family. Oh, oh, you're gonna Florida? No, I'm not here. Oh, no, she does. No, no, like, hey man, I have yeah. a life. Sorry. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird though. You didn't celebrate Thanksgiving when you were in Canada. But now I love it. Jews, so Jews don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Canada. Sukkot is our Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is actually a bite off of Sukkot, the harvesting. Yeah, holiday. but uh, but in America, Thanksgiving is not denominational. Like no. Jews do celebrate Thanksgiving. Just in last America. ten followers talking about everyone. I do Jewish wonder why we Thanksgiving. why yeah. we we celebrate it because who where the where they come from the pilgrims. Uh, they're from England. They're like, were yeah, they from well, England? They're, they're like they're Puritans, like, uh, right? They're like there's a bunch of I mean everyone who fucking came over from Europe. It's like there's a bunch of different mixes of people. But yeah, they came over and then just massacred the fuck out of people. Yeah. That's like the of of all the people who've been wronged that don't get talked about. It's the uh, Native Americans. Native Americans got. I mean, get talked about it in Canada. They're still fucked oh, now, yeah. bro. It's they came about it last year. Downies well, there. no, they actually. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. This is your first. Um, you were here for Columbus Day slash. No, I wasn't here. It's for Indigenous Columbus. Peoples so Day. When I moved to America yeah. three years ago, there was no such thing as Indigenous Peoples Day. It was for yeah. the. Uh, it there was, was just, no Juneteenth either. It was just yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was just Columbus Day, and all the Italians went and they like were out in full effect. And then now, like they're literally Christopher Columbus statues get bought. Like in Philly, they boxed up the statue. And then the Italians went and they painted it with the Italian flag. Hopefully this guy's good. Or but that was the whole gal. Sopranos episode. Did you not see it? Yeah, they got Italians. Yeah. Right. Italians I think this is, this is uh, right, we'll the see clown. This, is. this might be. Hello? Hey, what's up? You're mentioning Italians? Yes. We hey, how you guys. doing, buddy? Oh, it's, you ever have fried turkey? <laughs> yeah, oh, I heard that is really a, good. Puerto Ricans do that sometimes. I heard it's really yeah, good. Deep fried, fried turkey. turkey. Yep. Have you ever watched the deep fried oh. turkey gone wrong? Oh, the one that blew no, up. I, oh, there's you. If you go on YouTube and you want deep fry turkey fryer accidents, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no shortage of them. <laughs> people because people, people what happens? Because yeah, people yeah. don't. People don't. <laughs> yeah, this is right up Chase Alley. This is your I thing. On Dude, you posted. Thing, yeah. Jay, you posted this thing today where the guy slips on the boat. And oh yeah! I literally <laughs> saw it, and I go, I know what's gonna happen. I can't watch this. Yeah, he fucking brutal. Hates it. He like climbed the one where he climbs on the top of the boat. Yeah, he climbs on the top like the awning or whatever, and tries to jump off off the back. But then he doesn't make it all the you way. You see his oh, feet slide, man. right? Yeah. Yeah. And I go, as I'm seeing the feet slide, as the feet slide, I'm doing the calculation in my brain of like how how like 
how fast he's moving and how much. And I go, oh, he's not going to make no. it. And I go, like, I don't want to watch this. I posted <laughs> a, a real good one the other day of a dog trying to shit on one of those doggy mats. <laughs> and then this other dog comes in and starts eating the shit out oh. of its ass. Oh. Right. <laughs> God. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, yeah. Are yeah, you the turkey, the turkey fryer <laughs> thing. So what happens is people put too much oil in them because you got to do it outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they don't factor in the density of the turkey. Yeah. Right. Too much oil. They drop the turkey and it all splashes and just explodes yeah. Yeah, yeah. everywhere. Oh, I would love yeah. to that do that hot oil to fucking blow your skin right off. Oh, you yeah, yeah, right scary. Off. Yeah. Ba- it's like bacon. Yeah, are, you, you, uh, are you Italian, my guy? Yep. Okay. All right. That's good Some stuff. Fun. Yeah. You, you, talk about you called about Italians. You said Italians. How do you feel about Indigenous yeah. Peoples Day to uh, stealing Columbus Day's well, thunder? Well, we, you know, we won, and they didn't get along with one another either. So, <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> and they didn't get along with yeah. one another either. These fucking people are war with each massacre. other for tribes for years. Holy They're killing each other. Shit. They would massacre one another like crazy. Dude, Please. that's like the fucking. Someone tried to make the argument that India would have been better or would have been worse off if if uh, England, England never wasn't came. there. And then someone did the calculations on like, well, actually, uh, India had the like third largest economy in the world at the time with textiles, and then the English came in, took everything, took this, and like lost them like multi trillion dollars worth of money. So it's like really? actually they probably <laughs> yeah, would have been doing yeah, pretty good. Would have got better. I mean, they might be speaking, went on. They would have yeah, been more might, civilized, more money, they, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 They might be speaking. Like whatever we're speaking. There are Hindu no in England indigenous it's comics. Just a little mismanagement. There's no indigenous dogs. As, <laughs> like we, yeah. they got no, fucked. No indigenous in America. Natives, natives. I mean, no. Here they're yeah native. <laughs> native um, American. There are more out west. Is there? Here, yeah, because there's but like you would if think you go to like with all Ar- that suffering, Arizona, they would be hilarious. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona Jews and blacks, has, baby. Wait. Jews and blacks. That's Arizona it. Has, but it's true. Right. We got no room for you, indigenous but you, folk out it's here. It's not crazy. All right? No, I, I bet you there <laughs> Too are. Too many dogs, actually. not enough bones, baby. We don't like in Arizona. <laughs> in Arizona, in Arizona, there is a large like indigenous. Oh, population. the Navajos. The Navajos, like the Cherokees. I'll tell you all something. That stuff, yeah. Everyone says who's the toughest motherfuckers. Some of those guys in Toronto, you'd see them are tough. They're like, yeah, yeah. They're like in through it. All the fucking residential school shit, like, dude, you got like molested into a new like fucking dimension. (laughs) What the fuck? You know what that bad, dude? It was. Oh, it's really bad. Oh, like so, like there's like diaries and shit you can read that are like fucking. Well, that was dark. Gord Downey's one of the most popular Canadian singer ever. His whole thing was. We have to make this right with the uh, natives, right? Yeah. So they would just molest the natives. They, they were, were Catholics, so they're basically Catholic schools. They would take the kids from uh, their families, like essentially like social workers, send them to this like boarding school, and then they would just like some of them would die. They would get fucking. I mean, it's good. Oh, Dude, I've heard put, about put this. Your, like it's. I think it's pretty. Uh, and this consistent. was happening in Canada also. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was, it was happening really in America too. If you, too. Put, if you oh, put, yeah. put your children in the custody of Catholics, like Catholic, like they will priests. Be <laughs> Bad stuff tends yes. to happen. But then yeah. think about they were they're not like it's like for it. think about how they were treating people who they like valued, like right. other whites. They didn't oh, see Native them. American people so as people. human, yeah. And yeah. so then they were like fucking you're just fucked. You're like, yeah. I always wondered this, right? Like could you imagine Native Americans were like still around, like they still lived how they used to? Like you were like doing a outdoor show or something and like they're just you got hit show. with a fucking Arrow or <laughs> and fucking, yeah, the show, a, and then they took like a couple girls and fucking threw them on the back of their horse, and, uh-huh. just, like, and then they torched the fucking the thing. They're like, oh, no stand up. You're like, ah, oh, fuck, guys, yeah. come on. And then there, there's some comic goes, do we still get paid for this? <laughs> 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 Have you, you ever seen want the, to do time? I'll still do time. I'll still do I'll time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll still do Yo, time. everything's on fire. Yeah, yeah that's dude. cool. I could work with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you ever see? Have you ever seen that comedian who dies? The British guy who oh, Tommy on stage? Cooper, yeah. I think is his like, name. Like, no. like, death <laughs> rattle, death seen prone. Seen yeah, somewhat. <laughs> he had a heart yeah, attack. So he's like a f- basically like does gags <laughs> on stage, and then he like has a heart attack. Everybody's laughing. And everybody is laughing. <gasps> they're it's like, so dude, funny. they're like, like a theater. He's, a theater is dying of laughter while he's okay? dying. While he's dying, <laughs> and then he goes like this, and then he has the death rattle, and he goes like this, yes, and then he so- falls back, and the curtains like on here, and then you just see like his legs get pulled, so they pull him away, his legs. <laughs> 
But uh, it's the noise he makes where he's like, Rrr. yeah, he's like, yeah, I mean, it's the death <laughs> rattle. <Rrr. laughs> I love. How old was he? <laughs> he was old. Yeah, he was yeah. like seven. And he was like an alcoholic and shit too. Yeah, but I the mean, craziest I guess if part is the way like, to go. It's it's the yeah. ultimate yeah. applause break. Yeah. <laughs> They he were laughing, laughing so yeah, yeah. hard. Like, look it up. It's Tommy Cooper. But like, the thing is, I guess because his bit was he was did these physical gags. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was a like, physical it's comic. A bit. He was He's act out bit. heavy. Act oh, out yeah. heavy. Yeah. yeah. And then he ends up. Look at the stress that put on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Who had the joke? Ryan said, "There's no better way to die than on the ice." <laughs> Playing beer. Oh league yeah, yeah. R- uh, Ryan used to play uh, beer league hockey and. So that's like a pretty common thing is because these old dudes who are like, you know, think in their minds they're 20, yeah. Yeah. but they're 50, and then they maybe haven't played hockey in five years. And they just die on the ice. They go and they just have a heart attack and <laughs> die. <laughs> and then and Ryan then, was in the locker room. And then literally, so a guy died, yep. right? Has a heart attack, <laughs> dies, and then they're all in the locker room afterwards, and some guy's like, no better way to go, huh? Yeah. And Ryan's like, I can think of a couple. That better. is hilarious, bro. <laughs> Oh my god! I've heard of old dudes fucking dying while shoveling snow too. If you're, yeah, that's like yeah. one of the biggest ones. Yeah, yeah, because you're 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 probably you're uh, with your pants and your guts over your pants, and it's just your well, heart. Case, I, they just stop doing shit, right? You work like a fucking sitting job. You're driving a truck or yeah. whatever the fuck you're doing. Or you're retired. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you just, just fucking sit and you stop doing shit, and then you all of a sudden are like working your fucking heart. You're, you're like, I still got it. Oh, it's yeah. full yeah. of cheese sure. and yeah. Oreos and shit, <laughs> and fuck, just yeah. like fucking cold. stress of yeah. some There's fucking. There's actually wife. some. I, I believe. I believe this is either hurricanes or like tornadoes or something. There's something where people die after the day after a hurricane. A hurricane after they survive a natural disaster because they start going to clean up or whatever, and they like uh, they're, they're just not can't they're not prepared it. for it. Okay, we'll see what we got here. Hello, thanks for calling the bathhouse. Hey, uh, any of you guys ever been in situations where? You have to, you're basically forced to laugh even though the joke is terrible. Yeah, watching oh. JJ Lieberman do comedy. <laughs> when I open, <laughs> when, I open <laughs> funny. when I open for the. When I open for Ryan and Danny. Um, oh, yeah, all the time. I, I'll, right. I'll, I'll give people a fake laugh, just like, ha, ha, and then just There's an element yeah. of being polite to it yeah. where sometimes someone's like, I mean, I'll have people, you know, you have people like, who you don't know, who maybe like know you, they'll come up to you and they'll say like, I, like I get pitched. Ryan must get it so crazy because I get, I don't even make that many sketches and I get pitched sketches nonstop, mm. right? So Ryan must get them all the time. But see, sometimes people will like, especially like they'll corner you and they'll be like, Oof. how about this? And you go, ha ha, that's good. That's Why really is that happening good. You, to you, you have my to guy? Say, that's really good. Oh yeah, yeah, you go, oh, that's great. Is so, someone forcing you to laugh? I- well, I mean, I had this situation where uh, I was in front of a judge, and uh, <laughs> I love it uh, already. <laughs> he sees he sees my client is uh, Muslim, uh, and he's like, "Oh, you're a lawyer." What? This is Joe, right? <laughs> I love this. Yeah, yeah Joe, Joe. I was telling, I was talking about you today. Um, if, I don't, I assume you watch the boys cast, but we had a little uh, fantastic, honestly, maybe one of the funniest things we've ever done. That has to do with the story you told me the other night on Low Value Bail, Joe. I we okay, were I'll read, to read, it out. Then tell about. We'll I'll, tell, I'll, I'll tell yeah. you right now. So yeah, yeah, Joe, then tell about the Muslim. speaking of the Black Israelites, so Joe is is a lawyer. He's mm-hmm. an Orthodox Jew, and Joe was telling us how the other night how he literally on the subway, uh, Black Israelites throw coins at him. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I love God. how they're super racist. You would expect them to be like. Well, they're I don't they're know. like he. I meant like it's because he's like the imposter Jew, right? Yeah. So what yeah, happens? Joe yes, gets hit them. by yeah, them and yeah. goes, oh, 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 and then no, go he picks them up. Joe, yeah, 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 yeah. don't ever pick those fucking <laughs> coins. Uh, uh, look at Joe's this. a lawyer. He doesn't need that shit. So Joe, Joe, Joe you uh, you wear your 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 yarmulke with when you during the day, right? Obviously. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So so you're. The judge sees your client is Muslim. Yeah, and he, so he says to me, it's like, what's this? Uh, a Jew representing a Muslim? Uh, what, what is your rabbi going to say when he finds out? Mm. Oh, no. Like, Joe, the well, lawyer, the judge said that to you? Yeah. I mean, and, I, and he's, like, he's like laughing, and he's like, um, oh, well, I guess, uh, you know, money's money. You guys love that. Fuck oh. Just, <laughs> Burn. Isn't that good for you to, like, get your client off? off yeah, don't you get, like, a mis- like, I want help. this one for sure. You and know? I'm just, like, you know, laughing along with him because, like, what else am I going to do? Everyone looks completely uncomfortable. But well, can't you, can't, what was that he? so inappropriate that you could win the case based off that comment? He sounds Irish. Was he Irish? Um, he was actually Italian. 
Oh yeah, you can't. These people are, are not human. You know how they are. I, <laughs> <laughs> but I love the non-comic, like funny guy. Yeah. Who's like, oh, I'll do, I'll do jokes. I'm funny, and the then worst. just fucking says like the, ruthless shit in the wrong <laughs> scenario. The craziest thing is like yeah. it costs you your job. Yeah. Stuff. Like people go like, oh, you know, like they'll see a comic, like they'll come to the stand and see a comic, and then the next day be like, hey, you know, they're feeling themselves a bit, and then crack a joke at work, and people are like. What this judge fuck, is man. wild, though. Yeah, He's like, you fired. know what, man? Fuck all this whole culture. I'm just messing with like, that. Joe, Joe, real question. Like, if if you're, was it, how'd that work out? Did that client uh, get off? Um, it, it, The whole thing just ended up adjourned, and then uh, the judge got removed. So, Oh, uh, so uh, which means a new judge? Yeah. Did they yeah, remove uh, well, him whatever. because of the they, comments? They, 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 they were, I don't think it was because of that comment in particular, but apparently this was not the first time he'd done something like this. He had upset a lot of people. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Like, is, would that not be grounds for like some sort of mistrial? Yeah. If you like... He should be, because I'm sure he's a lawyer. Most, a lot of judges were lawyers before yeah. they became judges. I mean, that's like, I don't know. I feel like you could get... Can well, you get... He was, he, basically, he was like an old, uh, kind of like well-meaning, uh, like old school racist kind of guy. <laughs> yeah. Like... He, he's from a different like kind of time. person that would say, oh, there's, there's like a black uh, lawyer, and like, oh, you're a credit to your race. Like, that, that, that sort of guy. Yo, <laughs> Dude, it was the Larry oh, David oh, affirmative action. God, Holy Jesus shit. Christ. He's the Larry fucking, David affirmative yeah, action yeah. Uh, episode. But Joe, he's was like, like, come on, guys, come on. I'm fucking. <laughs> he goes, you don't even speak Dude. like that. Yeah, 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 it's a joke. You know what I mean? I'm breaking your balls. What's, this guy sounds what's great. the most common denomination of coin that you get thrown at? <laughs> Yo, is it uh, pennies or, <laughs> or is it pennies? Pennies, of course. Pennies. Uh, Joe, what fucking JJ? What? That's all. I mean, if there could be a lower denomination, they would. So yeah. they don't. They're just like. So they're throwing pennies because you are the lowest form of Jew. No, because well, it would be no, funny to yeah, me if they I actually guess. had Horses shekels just, from Israel. So, that would so, make me laugh. Uh, so hard. Did you just think it's the so cheapest? This one, this one guy called me. Uh, a Khazar, yeah, Khazar. Which I had to look up. I had yeah, to look that like up a, for the first time recently Khaza, as well. Like Khazar, with all uh, well, Khazar is like a group of you explain it because I was very briefly this looked this up, but okay, this is like where all white it, Jews came from, essentially, right? Yeah, it, basically, there, there was some uh, like in like Russia, there was like some kingdom that a number of the nobility converted to Judaism. Uh, this was like, I don't know, a thousand years ago. Right. Uh, so they say that, oh, all of the, the white Jews actually just come from, you know, these people. That's what they were telling convert. me when I tried and to get not, into and their And they're synagogue. not the real Jews. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what they're saying. They're saying we just kept the religion alive for them to a degree. Yeah, like yeah. we basically like usurped them a thousand years ago and now right. they want it back. Yeah, but that's not true because <laughs> if you go, uh, and I don't want to be like the big science guy, but our Jewish DNA can be traced back to the Levant. Doesn't matter if it's Ashkenazi, Sephardic, sure, or any but of that. Yeah. but that stuff is. Oh, it's very, I mean, the, only, the reason why Jews are white passing, like the uh, Ashkenazi ones, is first of all, we all uh, come from like 350 <laughs> Jews that happened to escape to Poland during uh, the Black Death. Yep, and they lost the sun. They being, and they, that's why they became so white. Right. Yeah, well, I mean, also, it's the ones who managed to survive. Right. The, almost like, like uh, the Pope literally just said, like, you know, yeah, go ahead and massacre them because we were dying at a much uh, lower rate mm. than the rest of. Uh, it's also because, like, oh. we had all the things about, oh, you have to wash your hands. I saw before a movie you, eat. About you have to this. wash your hands. Like, they, they had all these sorts of stuff. So they it's just. Because Jews uh, are neurotic. So like, oh, yeah, of course, it's the Jews. Play. You're right. God That's why. So I saw a movie about this. This is back when they were wearing those, like, uh, like the, masks the mask, with, like the, with the, the pointy nose, nose yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, so there's a movie doctor, called. Um, right. what, what's what's the stone thing that comes alive in our religion? Uh, Medusa. No. Golem? <laughs> They're the Golem, right? The Golem. So there's a movie yeah. called that, and it's it takes place during this time, during the Black Death. It's, really? Yeah, and then the golem comes alive and kills all the fucking. It's a horror movie. It's yeah, it's <laughs> fucking dope. I like oh. it when Jews fucking start killing shit. It's fucking. <laughs> so I just have one more question for Joe. You're in New York, correct? Yeah. What train? He doesn't like JJ. What, what train? What <laughs> what train? What train do? Joe, good taste. You got good taste. Yes. What, what train is the most likely train that you get changed thrown? I want to know what I'm train it is too because right I want to go talk to these guys, Joe. Um. Most of most of it's been uh, like just anywhere in the Bronx. The Bronx. Oh, really? So the six, yeah, four, five, yeah. Or or if you go out, uh, take the A Express. The 
Um, <laughs> if you ever want to know, I live in Williamsburg, Joe, and there's some great Jewish bakeries that I go to once in a while. That's well, fantastic. Comes Foodie JJ now. Foodie JJ, yeah. This is the real Never been JJ. to a They've place got, like. They have chocolate, wonderful pastries. Chocolate babka. There's some great chocolate babka. You literally were talking nonstop about chocolate babka, and then you said you went and got one, and it wasn't good. Uh, that was at that. I don't see. I, I, I happen to prefer homemade babka. Can you make it? There's, yes, you can make it. My wife makes it all the time. Can you bring one November 9th to New York Comedy Fest at Williamsburg, uh, Brooklyn Comedy Club? I'll give you free tickets uh, for a free babka. Joe, fill it with. <laughs> fill it with uh, Joe, fill, don't buy yeah, Joe, fill it with semen, Joe. Yeah, I'll really don't. like it then. Go. He's not into this. He's, <laughs> he's like a conservative Jew. Joe, just, go use water from the mikvah. Joe was telling you about the water. Joe, the Baruch mikvah. Hashem, man. I'm sorry that those guys are fucking doing that to you, fucking on the train. Yeah, it's pretty messed up, but yeah. Joe's holding up. Yeah, if I was you, Joe, I'd get some uh, pepper spray. <laughs> and right? Yeah. And well, it's, mo- <laughs> most, most of the time, it's just yelling, you know, and, uh, you know, like. Maybe there'll be some spittle or whatever, but I just ignore yeah. it. How do you, you know, or do you wear a yarmulke? Is that how they're able to like suss you out? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's okay. ortho- orthodox. Uh, really I, 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 I thought of right. taking it off, but uh, no, you know, don't I'm take just, it like, off. Nah, I'm not going to give them the satisfaction. No, yeah, you, you can't give it. That's how they went. You wear the tallest and the yarmulke, or uh, the, just the yarmulke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the talits. How many black Israelites so, are there in, in there's, New York? There's a lot. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're all over the they're Bronx, over. Harlem, and then parts of Brooklyn. Oh, right, the Bronx. Yeah. yeah. And let me tell you, they do not have a sense of humor about stuff, so no. you can't even go joke around with them. Like, um, hey. You know, some of those fucking bozos know, like, some of them like know a little bit of Hebrew too. Really? That oh, shit sure. pisses me off. Yeah. Joe, can you confirm that? You must speak but, Hebrew but, a bit. What? You speak Hebrew? Um, a little bit. I mean, I know enough to get by, yeah. uh, but like to have a full conversation. I, I, I did. I like to screw with people uh, when I was in Israel. Have you guys uh, ever like seen I that? pretended I, you know, I would say uh, like, you know, someone would start talking to me and I would just say, Anilo Chelavrit, which means I don't eat Hebrew. Uh, <laughs> and they would, okay, Joe, and they would start yelling at me, Midaber, Midaber, speak, speak. You don't speak. I, I, need a I don't eat Hebrew, speak. <laughs> okay, what, what do we just, think like, about just try, the, just try to screw with them. Joe, what do we think about this idea for um, like uh, uh, maybe some sort of reality show? Is you get a bunch of black is- Israelites and you send them on birthright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. So it's like, yeah, like good... ten black Israelites oh, and then like they get God. matched up yeah. with ten just like normal or whatever non black like, Israelite Jews. I and mean, that's like the, the, the group for the there, trip. There's a bunch of Ethiopian Jews. Well, that I know are, like, yeah, Ethiopian yeah, yeah. Jews. Actually, and they're, they're it's fucked up. They sterile yeah. and they the Israeli government was sterilizing them. Yeah, they too. they were very mean to them. Yeah, I, no, I it, it was, yeah, they, 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 it was. It, well, part of that was because of the fact that, and they separated them from their kids because they were very uh, religious, and the Israeli government wanted to have a more secular, uh, you know, group of uh, you know population. Yeah, the Ethiopian so Jews a little different. They have, they have like a priest. Oh wow! Right, more than a rabbi, right? Didn't they have they had like not a... exactly? No, so sort of. I mean, they call their you know the rabbis priests. Like we are priests too. It's yes, just yeah. the, the way. Uh, it's just it's uh, you know goes down by uh, the father. It's paternal instead of right, it, right. having to you know study for it. Who are those other Jews that are like that maternal and they pray like um, they play they pray like Muslims? There's only like two thousand of them. Have you heard you know, you know these Jews? Uh, Samaritans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there's also I believe there may actually be some Black Hebrew Israelites in Israel. I, yes, I heard yes, they are. I, they are there. I heard they have a little bit of land over there. Yes, they do, and yeah. they they go to the wall too. I thought. They may, they may. Have you guys ever seen that video of that? I wonder if they hate, uh, if they hate is like Ethiopian it's kind of like Jews? the, uh, no, it's like the, the Hasidim who uh, you know live in Israel, but they hate the Israeli government. Right? Yeah, they believe <laughs> oh, that. I, I remember when I I've been to Israel like once, and I remember there like all the Jews there actually hated the super Orthodox because they all get out of the military. Yeah, they don't have to serve. Yeah. Well, no, it's like, it's not actually, it's like a, go ahead, go ahead, Joe. Well, uh, no, it's like a, a lot of Hasidim they. Uh, they really do not like um, Israel. They think that they should have waited till uh, you know the Messiah came it was and a, it established wasn't supposed her, to be a taken state by force, own. right? It was supposed yeah. to be taken. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, uh, like, you, you'll have like a lot of a lot of them will like, you know, they may not like actively protest, but they're they're no fans. Uh, and like, I just found it so funny that there, I was passing by B and H ones. There were like a bunch of people protesting outside, like anti-Israel stuff, and I'm like, you realize that. They don't like Israel either. <laughs> yeah. 
fucking idiots. Did you hear about these girls at the college in Massachusetts? The Jew map they made? Uh, no. Yeah, so it's the yeah, liberal... This is the first I'm hearing about. Yeah, Women's show. Liberal College. They made a Jew map to protest uh, Jewish-owned businesses in the town. So my, my joke was that. Was it 12 banks and one bagel shop? You know what I mean? But if you think about it... <laughs> It's like every. It's like a, a. It could be everything. You know what I mean? Because we're listen. We're the Jews. There's not many of us left. Um, we've had to like run and fight to not die everywhere that we've been. And you know what? We've got what we got. And fucking eat shit and die. Too bad. Also, it's like, <laughs> yeah. If you're super yeah. liberal, do you not see how fucking ass backwards this is to just start. Well, fucking, but do you like, see? Like, do you see how I mean, maybe your map the, of where the Jews yeah. could go be, be used the, in <laughs> negative ways? Yeah. <laughs> Wesley Jesus. College. Uh, there, there is so much. There, there is probably just as much, if not more, anti-Semitism on, on the, the left. left the yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what they, that's, what, they, that's, what, he's, that's what Derek said earlier. Yep. I, I can't. Wild. I can't. I don't the, have the words to prove it. Bothers me more with the left because they're hypocritical about it, yes. as opposed to like you know you, you mean like like someone on the far right who like like okay I get it you only like white people and uh, you know like fine but uh, like at least you, you know you're honest they're gonna say it oh here you say, oh we care about minorities but not Jews unless we decide they're minorities because it's politically advantageous for us now right, but yeah. that, like. Yeah, so it's that's the same thing with that. that. Yeah, all, all that shit of like uh, of feigning that you have some sort of moral compass. It's like you're like, oh no, we care about all these people. Meanwhile, you're like tweeting on a phone that has fucking conflict minerals. Your your clothes were made by slaves. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, and they yeah, get yeah. all upset at Martha's Vineyard. They yeah. were all yeah. upset. It's and like, fuck off, yeah. man. Fucking can't deal with that shit. Yeah, <clears throat> it's wild to me. It's so wild. Yeah. All right, thanks. All right, Become Joe. a pro Israel. Uh, good luck with yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's luck that's with that. Take care, brother. I'm serious about the babka though. If well, you ever want to come out to a show, <laughs> I'm being dead serious. If you ever want yeah, to come yeah, out to a yeah, show, Joe, don't, don't come. He'll threaten to, to do stuff. To no, you. I wouldn't don't. do that. I'm not. A, I'm not into Jewish guys, but I totally would do the babka and not give you free tickets. Okay, you'd give him free tickets anyways. <laughs> All right, later, Joe. <laughs> but none of this like half babka is like a full one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, free, we're, we're wrapping this bad boy up. Oh, we are. I got to right, piss. Right before we wrap up, have you seen? Are we doing plugs? Yeah, we can absolutely. Have you seen that video? The the there's like this little Jewish kid, and he's like Orthodox Jew or whatever. So they have him with like his hairline all the way back here <laughs> and he has the curls and shit yeah, yeah. and this black dude's filming him and he's going man i'm sorry they fucked your shit up <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny that is so funny and he's like what oh we gotta call <laughs> actually hold on a second we gotta call all right hello who this hey i got in yeah you did what's up who am i speaking with oh he's so excited i got in the business charles. charles what up charles yeah Kim charles I'm actually, so I caught like the last five minutes. Okay. I'm actually a Jewish convert, kind of. Mm-hmm. Okay, welcome. <laughs> so I grew up in Arizona, and I ended up going to the summer camp every summer. It was actually a little bit north of Toronto. Mm. Which camp? It was a Jewish summer. It was called Camp New Moon. Okay, I've never heard of that one. That's a great camp. Them girls give head out there. They give, they put out. From Arizona? Yeah, you've never heard, you ever heard of Camp Newman? Yeah. No, no, but I knew, actually, I went to summer camp around there as well. You went to Jew camp, too? Yeah. Which camp, one did you go to? I went to Camp Gesher, and uh, that was in Tweed, Ontario. But, like, we could kind of knew all the Jewish camps, so maybe there's more than we even knew. So That's did it. you wait? Did you convert? Did you start to convert then, or have you converted later in life? Okay, so... Essentially, because I was the only one there who wasn't Jewish until mm-hmm. my little brother came there, right. they decided oh, it would be really fun to like have a bar mitzvah for this kid. Right. And my dad, he was like, Charles, if you get an opportunity to do a birthright trip, you should absolutely do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you did it. So he was like, hey, yeah. Are you circumcised? Of course. Oh, dude, fucking... You're so Jew. you went to a, you it. went to a camp <laughs> north of Toronto from Arizona. That's like yeah, we 3, had Ameri- no, we had miles. dude, we had our, our camp. We had Americans. We had kids from England. But why, uh, why that camp? Like, how did you figure out that camp? And how did you want to go to a Jewish camp? That's interesting. Well, his father wanted to send me that. Yeah, so it's it's, it's my best my best friend growing up was Jewish. Um, I went to a smaller private school, so probably like a half of my grade was Jewish. Right, right. You right. know, so lots of bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, small class size. Um, you sound like yeah, 27 or 28. Yeah, pretty good. I know. Yeah, JJ, JJ, JJ wants, has, dick, wants to JJ, fuck you. Size. This fuck Jesus Christ, JJ. I know, I know, guys. Keep on talking. That's all my. <laughs> Keep on talking. Um, Remember, I'm converted. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how tall you are, but you seem like Six you, one. Could, you could be lean. You guys are on point, yeah. No, it's not guys. It's me. Yeah. I, I guess 6'1". <laughs> 
But I heard him. He said because yeah. because he said make sure to remember that I've converted, which means he's tall because he's oh, presuming right. that Jews, Jews are, are small. So how's the, how do you feel about all the Jew stuff? What do you mean? Like uh, JQ. JQ. I can't believe Jew, I keep saying this to Jews. Jews. Oh, well, I turned off my mic. Are you in Arizona now? Uh, my bad. I turned off my mic. Uh, no, that's just JQ. where I grew up. And no. in Arizona, it was super hot in the summers. We're talking yeah, yeah, like yeah. We're going degrees uh, or whatever. Are you not coming? So went up there one month, you know. And we're going there in December. I just. Danny, I bet though we have a mutual friend. Who's, if we really sat down friend? and talked it through. No, well, you're ten well, years I'm younger just, than me. Well, well, I know, but all of the counselors and whatnot that I I knew, like uh, I don't I would, know. I mean, go f- add me on Facebook, and I'll show you if we have any mutual friends. All right, cool. Pretty I insane. will. Um, all right, we're um, gonna wrap this up. Thanks for calling. Yeah, yeah, in, Charles. I'm hungry up. as fuck. JJ's getting yeah. cranky. Take care, buddy. Take right, care, Charles. Charles. DM Later me a picture Charles. of the dick. All right. All right. That's been the oh, show. Plugs, plugs. Everybody, uh, give your plugs, please. Thank you, everybody, for watching the bathhouse. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be in, uh, I got a show in New York City, November 10th, uh, yeah. November 25th, 26th, Jacksonville, Florida, November 27th, West Palm Beach. That's the guy with the brain tumors lives in Jacksonville. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn Tyler, man, Tyler, go, uh, check out go check. Check Jacksonville out is a fun Woo-hoo. scene. Yeah. I'm going to do gonna, uh, my first <laughs> week in there. The so, zone yeah. comedy zone. I think so. Yeah. Nice yeah, dude. Zone. That's yeah, a yeah. good, yeah, that's a good place. Yeah. yeah. It's Fun, uh, fun, yes. JJ's yeah, exactly. like, I fucked like four milk. No, no, it there. just doesn't. <laughs> no, there's, the I, I, there's, <laughs> no, there's nothing the in each, each direction, like a th- uh, hundred or something miles. So oh, so they come to laugh. That you have to, they, yeah. it's like people, there's nothing to do so out everyone there. Just but so, like, you'll have fans that are coming from like Georgia. You'll have yeah, yeah, from yeah. like, yeah, dude, this is an amazing place. So yeah. I, there's this really hot chick who said she would fuck me out there. Nice. And, uh, and this, I'm on the now not giving out the raw dick, and I was like, this is God. Testing me. Yeah. yeah. This is he's like, can you pull this one off? Yeah. yeah. I have to fuck Literally. It. Yeah, yeah. right. Will, will you pull this one? <laughs> <laughs> will you? Uh but tickets are all at chaderana.com. I got Milwaukee, Chicago, and San Antonio in there too. Oh, all right. Yeah. I got uh, November eighth, Caroline's on Broadway. Uh comedy rap battle. It's me and Gio Perez, twenty three and one versus Mac and Steve, aka Mac and Cheese, whoever the fuck these bozos are. We're gonna kill them. Make sure you come out. Uh November eighth, nine forty five. PM, you can get tickets at carolines.com. Uh, and also uh, November 9th, I have my show, 23 and 1. That's me, Gio Perez, and Sam Santos, also part of the New York Comedy Festival. We're doing it here at the stand. We got a great lineup Ralph Barbosa, Jeffrey Asmus, the funniest white man in the world. Um, yeah, people say he's really funny. Very funny. Uh, and he's also going to be Andre Kim for New York's Funniest. I just wanted to throw that in there. You get tickets at the standnyc.com. Woo! Oh yeah, uh, November 9th, uh, Dirty Show. November every Wednesday at Brooklyn Comedy Club, 10 p.m. The Dirty Show. November 10th, opening for Che Dorena yeah, at the yeah, Gramercy yeah, yeah. Theater. Oh good. shit, really? Yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. fucking it sold out already? No, I think uh, last time we did ticket check was a few weeks ago, and it was at it was like 2:30 out of 400. So oh, dude, congratulations, yeah, yeah. brother! You're gonna sell out. The guy's on fire. The guy fucking let's fucking do it. Kills on stage. Wow. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, y'all. DP, November 9th, for sure. Dirty show. New York Comedy Oh, you're doing the show at the same time as me. Okay. 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 All right. The Jews are not about to get along. (laughs) Every every Thursday, the bathhouse. Let's just all get along, people. This is my show. People know where to find me. All right. Thanks, everybody. Shout out to Johnny Glover, our lovely producer. Hit Hit us with a sound effect. You didn't get one this whole show. Sign up for the Patreon. You know we can do that? Yeah, sign up for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash low value mail if you want to support the show. And uh, get access to the audio of this podcast right away. Otherwise, you can get it next week on Spotify.